I'm literally going to be in the Matrix in two oh, minutes. Yeah, I'm hacking, I'm hacking. Hack faster. you got to find me more time. you got to stall five minutes. It's Hold loaded. on, I'm hacking into the mainframe. I've reached the firewall. Almost got it. Welcome to the Trash Taste Podcast. Join us as we dive into the world of underrated, overlooked, and misunderstood media. From B-movies to forgotten albums, we'll be exploring the gems hiding in plain sight and give them the appreciation they deserve. So whether you're a connoisseur of trash or just looking for something different, this is the podcast for you. Let's get started. Oh my God. <laughs> you, know, you, you know what? That's amazing. We need to use the term connoisseur of trash more often. <laughs> connoisseur of trash. So Hello, yes. my, well, my fellow connoisseurs of trash. The connoisseurs of trash. This episode is brought to you by AI. Um, yes. <laughs> everything in this, every topic of this podcast <laughs> is going to be AI related uh, because it's been a, a big AI topic. Generated? AI yeah, generated? AI so, AI generated. Uh, we are not going to come up with any topics of our own because yep. yeah. why would we? We have AI for that now. So um, <laughs> if we want to yeah. go on a tangent, the AI will decide when we will go on the tangent. Uh, yeah. I guess I should um, crack open our first topic. Yeah, right? yeah, go Just for jump it. Right for it. it. Just okay. Jump right uh, into it. We've got a lot here in Trash Kun. All right. So our first topic for today is. Uh -huh. Anime dads, the good, the bad, the ugly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me talk about the bad. Okay. okay. Fucking Goku. All okay, right, can, okay, can, well, can we talk about how sure, shit of a dad sure. Goku is? <laughs> Bro, shit. did he like raise his child at all? I, well, I, 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 I think I, you could say this about most anime dads, yeah. to be fair. At least well, Goku's there. Most <laughs> anime dads just don't exist, yeah. you know? Okay, let's, okay, because there's so many bad anime dads. Let's talk about the goat anime dads first. Who okay. are the like greatest anime dads of all time? The greatest anime dads? Like I'm trying to think of anime dads and I can't, uh, I can't think of any. Are they any. good anime dads? I'm trying to think who raised their child oh, correctly. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, right, okay it's, it's a niche one, but uh, did you ever watch Sweetness and Lightning? Yes. That's a goaded anime dad. I did not watch that. Oh fuck, you've just opened up an entire- Do you remember that one? Yeah, yeah, I remember that. You've just opened up an entire fucking door for me now. Like fucking every, everyone with a cute little daughter, like Spy, Spike's family. Yep. I know? guess, yeah, Fol uh, uh, Fol 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 what's his name in Spy Family? Uh, uh, Lloyd? Lloyd, 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 yeah, Lloyd yeah, Forger. Yeah. Lloyd Forger, that's, that's it. it. It's, it's yeah. funny that they're like a fake family and then they're more wholesome than most like real <laughs> anime families. They're more put together than most <laughs> families, <laughs> yeah, right? The thing I find most unbelievable about Spy Family is that he hasn't hit it yet. That's just like- I, <laughs> That's I, true. That makes no sense. I, I, <laughs> it's not part of the mission. I you know, know it's not part, <laughs> it's not part of the mission, Connor. It's a side mission. <laughs> I, I just want a spin off where it's just like, he gets a new mission. It's just like breed, <laughs> make more children. It's like, oh shit, we all right. We need more children and make it more convincing. Don't adopt. It looks, I have a pregnant wife. It looks more realistic. Oh, yeah, honey, dude. I gotta get you pregnant. It's for the mission. Dude, Sweetness and Lightning, I remember the, the part that I fucking, I mean, or not the part, just like the, the thing that I absolutely loved about that show. Have you watched Sweetness and Lightning? I have no idea what that is. Okay, so it came out a, a few years ago, obviously, because I watched it. Um, <laughs> but uh, it's basically- <laughs> It's gotta be five plus yeah. years old. At least. Yeah. But uh, it's basically, uh, it's well, it's a slice of life, right? Basically, yeah, slice it's a slice of life, life show. Um, okay, essentially, where uh, yeah, there's a, there's really cute, like uh, I think she's like all maybe, the best dads are in slice of life. Yeah, to be honest, she's, she's like this five five or six year old daughter. The, the mum is dead. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's okay. like it's literally the, it's not a spoiler. It's literally the first scene. The mum is dead. Okay, um, and it's basically a dad trying to come to terms with uh, raising their only daughter. Mm -hmm. But the daughter is like really, I guess, like even though she's super super young, she's like mm -hmm. I think she's like four or five years old or something, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, she like, you know, and, and obviously they go through the hardships of like, you know, being a single parent and mm -hmm. stuff like that and being a single dad. But the daughter is so fucking supportive and wholesome <laughs> to the dad that every dude who watched that show is just like, I want a daughter like you. You are like the golden child of children that awesome. I want to have. And it's, it's yeah. so fucking God, cute. You just, you just reminded me of something. Yeah. The, uh, I think I think the manga or show that started this entire like wholesome dad daughter relationship trend. Yeah. Um, talking about good dads, what about Usagi Drop? Oh my! <laughs> I never watched Usagi Drop. I mean, it's good. <laughs> I, look, look, good is uh, good is a subjective term. Uh, he's a great dad can at the a, beginning. Can I get a TLDR? Uh, super yeah. degenerate dad near the end. Okay, so I'm gonna spoil Usagi Drop. It's fucking- I, I'm never gonna watch it. It's, it's years yeah. old. If you haven't watched Usagi Drop, I doubt you would have watched it. Yeah. Uh, I, I doubt this is gonna change anything now, but uh, <laughs> Usagi Drop, the anime, uh -huh. fucking great. Yep. You see this wholesome father-daughter relationship where I can't remember the exact concept of it, but mm. I believe the daughter is like, um, he adopts this daughter mm. uh, and 
it's the anime is this exploration of you know him learning how to be a dad and kind of like fathering this uh, adoptive daughter mm, and mm. Uh, learning feelings and stuff mm-hmm. and then it learning goes on feelings. learning feelings learning some wholesome feelings yep, some wholesome, nice. wholesome really nice feelings. i'm not gonna watch it but that sounds uh, yeah nice. it's and really then, nice and then uh <laughs> people went on to read the manga which <laughs> was you know it was very very wholesome until <laughs> like kind of kind of like the ending yeah. uh because uh obviously because the manga is way more longer running than mm. the anime went uh the daughter grows up and uh <laughs> she uh, discovers that uh, she has developed feelings for her yeah. adopted father. Yeah. And Why I'm, can't uh, we get anything that's normal? Basically, <laughs> basically the creator, I think, read Oriimo and went, yeah, let's, what let's do that. So many mangakas just having like a dark arc where they just become <laughs> fucking weird. Because the thing is, this was a really like, Unironically, like a wholesome, innocent show. It was a it, really good show. It was so, for the most so part. wholesome and innocent yeah. about this father-daughter relationship. And then yeah. the ending comes and you're like, no, please don't. I have to, you have to question the state of the author. At that yeah. point. You'd be like, what, what was yeah. happening in your head? What was going on with this? <laughs> this felt like the right storyline. You, you, you know what? Like something like this, I could accept if it was like a hentai or something yeah. in general. Okay. Just, you know, I, I can accept that. I've seen worse things in hentai. You but know. don't give me every, like- every, 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 every other fucking other stepmother is like fucking that child. Hey, stepmother's and- different. Right, it's different. It's different. Ste- oh yeah, stepmother. Right, stepmother's different. different. You wouldn't get it. But like, don't give me like ten volumes of some of the most cute, yeah, no, wholesome, like weird. family coming of age story, yeah. and then just turn around and be like, "What if I? What if we just like made it official? Yeah, but in a completely different relationship. Yeah, and everyone was like, I because I, I remember reading the manga as well because I, I I I watched the anime first and I was like, yeah. this is great, but I heard there was a continuation. Yeah, and so I was like, all right, sick. I bought all the volumes, reading oh. it. I'm like, okay, this is great, super cute. And then yeah. it literally happens in like the last maybe four or five chapters. Okay, and I'm just yeah. like. Yeah. Is this like wow. a spin off I read? Like what happened? Cause, cause the worst part is right. Uh, cause at first it's just like the daughter, like realizing her feelings mm-hmm. and you're like, please no, please don't let this be like the arc and the direction the story is going. Uh, I, I, th- I think the, the moment where I kind of like just threw the manga on the floor was mm. just when, okay, the daughter is fucking young. She don't know what the fuck she's doing. Yeah. But then like the father accepts it as well. I'm like, <laughs> no, no, you're, you're meant to be the mature one here. The what? one time you had to be an adult, you were just like, nah. Yeah. So it's secretly a big debate for grooming. Yeah, like yeah. You, get, you, you, yeah. Get, you get, it's just a one big grooming yeah. show. Yeah, it's one big grooming manga, unfortunately. Yeah, um, yeah well, so we've, we've decided to do a, you know, a, a, a telling of the priest story uh, from the side of the priest where he become, you know, like, yeah. it's just like, what? I, okay, um, a good dad. Is Aaron Yeager's dad a good dad? <laughs> Good is subjective. subjective. Okay, is, it, okay do, do you believe <laughs> that there are some kids that are just doomed from the beginning where it doesn't matter how good the dad could be where the child is just a, a spawn of Satan? Yeah. Where do you believe that that exists? Yeah, I'd say so. Would you say Aaron Yeager falls into that? <laughs> M- most likely. <laughs> I'd say this yeah. is a uh, complicated. This, this <laughs> we, we can make this entire podcast okay. of was Aaron Yeager right? No. <laughs> <laughs> Discuss. Just have the Fortnite meme. Is Fortnite okay? Aaron Yeager was never okay, wrong. Fine. Also, I don't want to spoil it. People who haven't watched. Yeah, it. yeah. yeah. Another qu- another character. Then I'll pitch to you. Is Kirito's dad a good dad? Kirito's dad, <laughs> even though he wasn't there, but is he a good dad for raising Kirito? Uh, uh, like how? Like how so? so? He it turned out is Kirito. Is that like did he do his job or? <laughs> You- oh, are you talking about Kirito's dad or Kirito as a dad? Kirito's dad. Wait, oh yeah, Kirito was a dad too. Yeah, Kirito, Kirito is also a dad, a dad who adopted with uh, uh, Yui with a uh, fucking Asuna, right? Yeah. I, I blocked that from my memory. <laughs> yeah, same I didn't yeah. know about, I completely, I completely forgot about that. That's because that's the moment where SO went to shit. That's yeah. why. <laughs> very early on. Yeah, um, very early on. Yeah, d- Kirito has a dad. Did you know that? Did you uh, know that? I don't d- does he him. actually make an appearance? Yeah. Really? Is he good? <laughs> um, Wait, yeah, when? I, huh? When? In Alice's Asian. Oh, oh okay, that's why. I I'm, because, I, spoiler alert, I've actually been watching Sword Art Online. What the I, fuck? I've actually, because I, I, I actually had this realization the other day that um, I've watched every piece of like Sword Art Online media that has been released in you, anime you form. Me. Um, 
And thought you're better than that guy. Yeah, it, it was weird because at the end of Alicization, there's a moment where Kirito has a scene with his mother and father to be like, I think I know what, to, I, want, what I want to be and what I want to pursue growing up. And I'm like, fuck me. It took 70, like a hundred fucking episodes to get to this point. What the fuck? We're actually doing this now? <laughs> what are this? What are so, so wait, yeah, so what, kind of, what kind of parents are they? They're normal parents. Oh, They're, yeah, of course they are. Actually, they were just like, can you please decide what the fuck you want to do with your life? That's not good. Just, That's not good just piss your life away with video games. <laughs> I know you're like an epic gamer, but please choose a career path. And I'm like, you know what? I can I, I can actually kind you of respect what? that. Someone had to say it. Someone had to be like, Kirito, uh, being a beta is not a viable <laughs> career option. I'm sorry. That's yeah. not a thing. Yeah. Actually, there's this one scene at the end of Alicization where his mom's just like, next time you go into a fucking game that could like kill you, can you like tell us first? <laughs> like this is the third time this has happened. Are you, please just fucking this tell us next reckless. time. What just, are you doing? <laughs> just find a better way to end it. Like, right? okay, you, okay. So do you know how we had to explain to the doctors where we had to carry you into the hospital with a fucking gaming headset on. Yeah, okay. It's like you get to, you get addicted to VR chat once. Okay, I can understand. <laughs> the third fucking time it happens, you almost die from this, and you don't tell us this shit. Please tell us. <laughs> oh my god. Actually, actually, like on comes a VR chat mute. Yeah, yeah. And like when he's forty. Yeah, on the topic of like Usagi dropping like mm. degenerate dads and stuff like that. There's, like, I remember the, like. Recently, there was an anime that was just the opposite of that, I think. Mm. Okay. Um, I think the anime was called like Higehiro. And I really- Oh, oh yeah, yeah, right. yeah, I really, really hope that the manga hasn't gone some sussy routes, right? Because well, I mean, it's originally a light novel, so it's probably go down, gonna go down a sussy route. Because the, th the thing that I liked about that was mm. it's, it's a show where a guy basically picks up this runaway like middle school, high school girl. And- <laughs> Literally the start to every end. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, you'll, and you watch the first episode and you're like, this is uh, this is this is very very sus. Yep. This is uh, I, I I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going, um, and then it turns out every time like the girl tries to be even remotely sexual, he's just like, get away from me, child. I do not, I am not interested in children. And I'm just like, man, is this the standard we have in anime where like, someone that's saying, commendable. yeah, yes, yeah, so someone saying no. Child, get away from me. I do not find you interesting. Uh, that's that's like commendable now. Yeah. Anime. <laughs> that I was just like, damn, this is a really, this is a really original route that this uh, this anime has gone down. Man. I mean, to be fair, it kind of is like, and then that's kind of the sad thing, right? It's like, if you see an otaku like resist that urge, it's just like, oh wow, all right. He gets bitches. <laughs> Whoa, all right. He's, he's different. <laughs> you mean he's picking up this, uh, he's, he's picking up this runaway high school girl just to help her? Yeah. Just, just, just to it's be like, like that doesn't just exist. Be a good Samaritan? Yeah. What? And then the girl was like, why are you gay? <laughs> I'm trying to think of a good dad. Is Subaru's dad from ReZero a good dad? I think he's pretty good, right? He's, he's, he's not in the show. Yeah, what he is, has a motivational you? moment with him. He's like, go on kid, don't suck. That was like in, say, in his like flashback. His, yeah. That was like in yeah. his mind though, wasn't it? That yeah. Was, yeah, maybe maybe it was in his mind, but is that a, does that count as a dad? If it's a dad it's in It's like mind. an imaginary dad. If, <laughs> That's does, like the dad What if the imaginary wanted. dad has more impact on your life than the real dad? Hmm? Okay. That's Wh true. Who are the okay. worst dads in anime? Oh, that's fucking go, man. Uh, Shinji? Shinji's dad? Shinji's dad, Gendo, that's the, yeah, like, that's the like, go-to answer. That's like the go-to. I aspire to be a dad that yeah. bad. What about the- <laughs> just, <laughs> just, like, <laughs> just confidently that bad. Like, I just hate my kid that much. Like, that's almost impressive that he committed that hard to it. <laughs> he I, was I, only I, one step away from you know, looking at Shinji and being like, who? <laughs> like, like a bad, I would say he, he committed so much to being a bad dad that he was always around, which is more than some other bad dads, right? Which I think is- it's kind of gaslighting Shinji, right? It's like, no, yeah. I'm here for you, but get in the get in the robot. I please. mean, the other the other <laughs> the, uh, the other stereotypical replaced. bad dad is uh, Nina's dad from Full Metal Alchemist. Obviously, I know I know what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, yeah. I know what whatever his name. I'm was. trying to think of some I'm, devil's advocate where I could I could argue he's a good dad. I would love to hear this. I would love to hear this. Where the AI would be great to help me out here. Okay, okay. So why is Nina's dad actually a good dad? Okay, let me let 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 me break it down for you. Okay, let me break it down for you. Is there anything more pure in life than mm. a dog? <laughs> yeah, he wanted her to be a good boy forever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How do you keep your children pure and innocent forever? Okay. You cross them with a dog. Okay. That's, I, uh, <laughs> I have not seen Full Metal Alchemist, but I, I'm, I'm guessing that was his motivation. And you know what? I kind of dig with it, man. You, you know, know what? what? You know what? Daughters overrated. Dogs though, look, that look, shit sticks with you. Look, I bet that daughter would have grown up to be a fucking, <laughs> to be a fucking turd, man. Okay, every daughter reaches that age. 
in in that teenagehood, you know, when they're just like, Dad, I don't care about you he anymore. Was just you're like, stinky. Get the fuck yeah, out of my face. Like, he was just he like, didn't want. He didn't want that. You know. He was just like, Oh, you're about to hit puberty. Not on my watch. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, I asked it to, why is Nina's dad from Full Metal Alchemist right? And it goes, the series does not depict any character of, of the perspective of right or wrong. <laughs> yeah, that's Actions true. have consequences and they make mistakes as well. The story doesn't shy away from showing characters flaws. <laughs> I uh, mean. That's an interesting defense. That's an interesting defense. Listen, yeah, like he, I, I'm, I'm with Garton this camp. Mm -hmm. He just yeah. wanted to make a good boy. Yeah, fair enough. And. Was the dog a little sad? Yeah, but their dogs could be sad. We, we just don't yeah, hear them you know, say it. It's, yeah. it's a work in progress. <laughs> I think, imagine if he actually perfects it though, and the dog right. is happy when it happens. Then I think science Maybe is, Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Maybe he's the Few victim. uncomfortable question. Wait, yeah. what? <laughs> wait, maybe, okay, wait. You know, let's just, like, maybe he's the victim. Maybe he was like, I just wanted to make a good boy. And then I fucked up and it ended up being science. a sad dog. He was Look. a scientist helping us. Yeah. This, was, this was his first attempt at it, you know? <laughs> And you know, every <laughs> scientific breakthrough yeah. has a few failures every now and again. Yeah. You know, are we gonna say no to human experimentation just because a few people get violently murdered? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. He's just right. like, all right, I gotta, I gotta order up another daughter. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, wife, I need another yeah, daughter wife, to experiment. Uh, we need on. another one. This experiment went wrong. Don't, don't ask. I'm realizing now the lack of dads in anime. There's not a lot. There's not a lot of good dads. Mecha definitely does not have a good track record. There's for so many just dads that just dads. aren't around. I mean, just just think I mean, of like, look, like like think about it perspective wise. Think of Koki though, right? ass, right? It's yeah. it's just like what <laughs> every every Mecha dad just wants to fucking take over the world or be a shitty dad. Well, think about it even in like you know in the defense of like Gendo, for instance. Like he was a good dad to Ray. <laughs> he was a shit dad to Shinji though. I would argue he was a good husband to Ray. Oh yeah, that's a, yeah. Dad slash husband. <laughs> <laughs> it's a soggy drop all over again. <laughs> Fuck, it all goes back oh to soggy drop. It, it all goes back, man. I can't think of any other dads. I'm just I'm, straight I'm, up I'm to I'm looking around. I, okay, if we're not, if There's we're not so talking about- There's so many moms, but no dads. If yeah. we're not talking about anime specifically, or, or like, I guess things that came t from and to anime, like say if like Pokemon, right? The Pokemon series. Oh, you I, never I, see Ash's dad. I, I got uh, one. Right. What, what about Rudeus's dad from uh, Mashoku Tensei? With the when he gets reincarnated. Yeah, yeah. The one where he yeah, gets he's, oh. he's kind of the goat. Yeah. I like him. Yeah. He's got he's he's, he's like a flaw. Little playboy. Yeah. He's, he's <laughs> little playboy. He little is. Playboy. <laughs> yeah. I, I like it. I, th I think he's a good dad. I think he's he's one of the most human dads I've seen. He, where, he, he's a bit mm, of a scumbag, but yeah. he also is a good dad. So it makes him a lot more believable as a character. Yeah, he, he like tries to be a good dad. Like I, th I think the scene that got me in Mishoku Tensei mm. uh, was the scene where Rudy just like hugs him to be like, I wasn't the perfect dad. And he's just like, I forgive you. I was like, mm. oh fuck man. I wish I could tell my dad that sometimes. Okay. Okay, uh, question. Ask a lad. Uh, racing here. <laughs> well, technically not his son, but basically yeah, but the dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like the, the stepdad. Yeah. yeah, he's yeah. the best stepdad. Yeah, in anime. <laughs> you know, you, you the first case scenario. For he a kills step your real dad. Yeah, and then becomes the goat dad. Like, <laughs> I, like obviously, killing the real dad is bad. But if he becomes an even better dad, I think there's a there's a question to be. But he went he went into it in, he question. went into it with an alpha mentality. He was like, "I'm going to kill your real dad because I'm more confident <laughs> I could be a better dad than your real dad." And so he, that's why he's the ugly but good dad. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And question. He's, and he's Welsh. So okay. That's also, and he's Welsh. I, and he's Welsh. I, <laughs> so you know, he is, a bit of bias. he's the best Welsh dad we've had yet. Okay. Question. <laughs> out of uh, out of how many? Out of all the Welsh dads in anime, he's the goat. He is absolutely the goat. Okay, question. <laughs> yes. Is Minato a good dad to Naruto? Is Naruto a good dad? Is Naruto a good dad as well? Double question. Naruto, no. tr Nar oh. neither Naruto or Sasuke are good dads. Fucking like- Obviously Sasuke isn't. Sasuke oh, yeah. never wanted to be a, have a kids anyway. Sasuke went out to get milk and never came back. <laughs> he was that He was that dad, man. <laughs> I feel so sorry for, what was the name? Like Sarada or whatever. Sarada, yeah, yeah. salad. God. <laughs> Sasuke seems like the kind of dude- You know who, you're a bad dad because you named your daughter fucking sour. Yeah. Sasuke's the kind of dude who felt like he would try and explain to you for 10 minutes why he took the condom off right before he put it in. You know what I mean? Like he would have a, he would have a full on conversation trying to justify it to you. Yeah. That's the vibe he gives off. 
Yeah, I remember the, the only the only part of Boruto I've seen is for like the new Naruto movie. So I'm not like up to date to, Bar- mm. from, yeah. to like Boruto. So I don't know how good of a dad Naruto is now, but my fucking God, he needs to learn how to discipline his kid, man. <laughs> Fuck me, man. He's out of fucking control. <laughs> he is, man. <laughs> Bar- Boruto's a dick, you know? It's so weird because like, see, I, I forget that Boruto is not even own, an only child, but everyone forgets that she has a sister because her sister's, oh, yeah, he her sister's so well behaved, right? Mm. And now, Naruto is definitely that dad was that was just like I was a fucking dickhead when I was a kid. So you know what, kid, you can be a dickhead too. And I'm like, no, Naruto, don't like, do that. Like my dad wasn't there during my childhood. <laughs> I won't be for yours either. <laughs> I'm learning by example. You think you think from not having like not not growing up with parents that Naruto would want to like offset that and be yeah. a really good fucking parent and be there for his kid? He he does he doesn't learn from that. You mm. think he would know that? I guess anime normally has father figures as opposed to fathers yeah. straight up. Mm. But I don't know. I guess. I it's guess like choose your own dad. I right? guess that's yeah. it. Yeah, and that was that was the anime dads, the good, the bad, and the ugly. This is to, this maybe, is literally. Maybe Joey can pick one. Oh, okay, you oh, pick sorry. the next one. Uh, go for it. It's go fine. for to it. To tangent next to the the, the what? <laughs> <laughs> to ta- uh, sorry, guys. That that brings me. That makes me think about uh, food that sounds disgusting but actually delicious. <laughs> that <laughs> sounds disgusting. Food that the, sounds. Like, I can't like wrote this down, but it says food that sounds disgusting but actually delicious. Hmm. Um, See, there's two ways we can go about beans that. On the, toast. the name sounds disgusting, but it's actually good. Or the concept sounds disgusting. I, I think it should actually. be the concept that sounds disgusting. If you say fucking Shirako, I'm 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 leaving, Joey. That oh. that that sounds disgusting, and, and it is disgusting. Is disgusting. No, it's natto sounds disgusting, and it is disgusting. No, that's delicious as well. <laughs> I will not take Shirako and natto slander from you two non-Japanese people. Uh, there's a lot of Japanese foods that are like that. Like I'm I, just thinking most Japanese food. I, okay, one, okay, okay. Okay, one for me that I, I actually saw by like real life example was when okay. I first uh, brought a couple of my like Australian high school friends to Japan, mm-hmm, right? right? And they were the kind of like super like Western friends who like never tried, you know, proper like mm-hmm. Japanese food or like any kind of Asian food. And yeah. I took them to eat skiaki. Okay. Right. And they thought the concept of the raw egg was disgusting. Yeah, it is yeah. a hard sell. It is yeah, a hard sell. Yeah. So skiaki like, is like a, like a meaty broth where you cook all the veg, like a hot pot, but Mm. so you cook all the veg and the meat in this hot pot, but what makes it unique is that you have a raw egg on the side that you whisk kind of to make it all uh, like consistent. Mm. Then you dunk everything in this broth in the raw egg, then eat it. It's really good, but it sounds kind of gross. You don't don't cook the egg before, you cook the meat and then dunk the cooked meat in the raw egg. Yeah, so basically the meat and the vegetables are like kind of- It sounds gross. Yeah, yeah. it's been simmering in this like soy sauce based broth and now there's just like a whole bunch of raw egg over it. It sounds gross if you never had it, but when you have it, you realize it's one of the best types of hot pots you can have Japan. It is delicious. Yeah. I don't know the the yolk. It just it's a natural sauce. Yeah. Right. Um, and what what are you, what are you gonna say? Yeah. Sorry, I just had a bad thought. Go on. <laughs> what, what, what was your no, bad? No, go no, on. No, no, no. You go first. <laughs> no, so, I, I, I was just gonna say the yolk just makes such a delicious natural sauce mm. that yeah. we just have never had before. Yeah, you know, but it, when I think about it, it's like okay, I think to a lot of people mm. conceptually that's mm. quite gross. Yeah. Yeah. Even though it's pretty just dis- pretty delicious. Mm. Uh so mm. I propose yeah. the toast sandwich. <laughs> is that okay? It, I, I, I it would doesn't say disgusting, sound but cool. it's, yeah, it's not gross. It's just nothing. It's just bland. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> That's like saying I like the taste the of it. Fuck out I of here! Like the taste Get the fuck out of here, Connor! <laughs> okay. What are you talking about? That is the widest <laughs> no. thing you've said on this podcast. I Connor. had it. I thought it sounded dumb as fuck, and I had it, and I thought <laughs> it's not that bad. It's pretty good. Okay, so explain. So it's it's basically is it a sandwich that so has toast in it? It's yes. Yeah, so it's two pieces of bread. <laughs> yeah, and then non cooked bread. Yeah, non toasted. Non toasted bread. Non toasted bread, and then you have a toasted bread in the middle that you normally season with salt and pepper. And then you put it just like in the middle and you eat it. It's pretty good. And it's, you can put butter on it if you want to. It's pretty good. It sounds gross, but it's I would good. rather just have fucking toast. You know? yeah. Why? Why am I it's feeling- It's a delicacy. Why, it's a delicacy. Why, why, why am I filling myself up with two extra slices of non-toasted <laughs> bread when I could also toast those? It's different. It's, 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 it's good. We should try it. We should all try it. What, what what compelled you to make this thing? Were because you, was, I, I I'd seen it so many times, and I thought, well, fuck it, I'll just try it. Like I just I before I make my mm. opinions on it. Yes, it sounds fucking stupid. I did. To it. be fair, when when we were pretty good. when we were in the yeah. UK last year, I did go to like a bakery and I did see it on their menu, and I was really you saw tempted. it on the menu. I've I, never seen it. On I've the seen menu. it. I've seen it on what the, the menu. Fuck. 
and it was like I never seen it on the menu. No. In the UK. I saw it on the menu, this and was I was custom. like, that can't, <laughs> that can't be right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm misreading this. Yeah, I'm, British think, cuisine. Let's yeah. put bread between yeah. us. It must I, be like slang for I know something. I'm going to use this to slant my taste buds, but uh, hey, it's not bad. You got to try it before you uh, you deny it. Connor, like, why didn't you listen, say I didn't? I didn't love salt, bread enough as it is, Connor. Salt, why didn't you tell me? Salt, bread, carbs, and, and just black pepper is just all I need. Like that's good enough for me. I'm like a, I'm like a, I'm like a. You know how like dogs when you give them dog to treats every single day, you give them the exact same fucking thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. How do you? How do they get so excited every time? Right. Yeah. That's what I want for my food. Well, that's also because their brains are smaller. <laughs> Is so, that why? Yes. Just, if they had bigger yeah. brains, it'd be like, so they're really? Just like, they're just treats less, again? Yeah, so they're just less capable of being like, um, actually, I've had this for 200 days straight, <laughs> master. Uh, I require some other type of sustenance. They don't have that knowledge. I, maybe they you do, know, though. Maybe I'm, they just like I'm it slandering the bread sandwich, but you know what? Crisp, toast, toast sandwich, toast, excuse toast me. Toast sandwich. Crisp sandwich? I actually get behind that. I like crisp sandwiches. I like crisp, crisp sandwiches. Crisp sandwiches, I don't yeah. know. Does it sound disgusting though? Is it? I, I, it's just like socially looked down upon. <laughs> and I don't know why. It's seen as what? a peasant food. It's seen as a peasant food. And I don't know why. It should be seen as a delicacy. Fuck. If- <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like, Grant's securing his British citizenship for life. Right? <laughs> <laughs> they're never, they're never, they're like they're never being questioned. No. You know, why are kids on a playground getting bullied for bringing a crisp sandwich to school? Let's not pretend that it's not like the best meal we could have as a kid. That you, you, It's the meal that you wanted as a kid, but you couldn't tell yeah. your parents that you wanted. It's, it's not like, the most gourmet shit, but goddamn is a cost efficient. Yeah. You like chip sandwiches? Yes, I love chip sandwiches. Chip, I've like never fries, had a chip sandwich. Fries yeah, just, like, like uh, hot, hot chip sandwiches. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love good. those, love it's those. Pretty good. I could, I could. Possibly, uh, possibly. Good. That was it's that was good. like that was my diet some in high school. Some ketchup on it, maybe some mayo Woo. or something too. Dude, something. for us in Australia, we put some chicken <laughs> salt on that bitch. Woo. Okay, <laughs> another thing that definitely sounds disgusting and isn't that bad, mm. I'd say is well, maybe not delicious. You'd probably agree. I think you'd say horses. Oh, horse meat. Horse sounds disgusting. Yeah, but Does I think it sound it, okay. It's, I don't think it's that it sounds disgusting. It's I think horses. it's it like, sounds. Oh. It's just morally wrong. Yeah. to a lot of people, right? Yeah. It's like eating like cat or dog. Yeah, right. It's like it's it's not about like the concept. It's, it's like on, the moral. I wouldn't say it's on that level, but yeah. an animal that we have let's say domesticated mm. and have put to use, mm. but we've domesticated horses. No, no, exactly. Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm. On, but like horses haven't been domesticated For on food. as wide of a like level as not not as wide it's not as widespread mm. as people owning cats and dogs right it know. used to be pretty widespread oh it used to be yeah. widespread I, I have no they, doubt i don't think they did they eat it back then i have no idea i'm not maybe maybe in japan know. they did yeah right but japan they always been eating yeah, it. yeah. <laughs> japan yeah. is like does it move we need <laughs> it i had a there's this, this, this um the seal sound disgusting Seal. That just I'd, sounds. I had seal in a can. That just sounds. Oh, wrong. I, I think I have as well. It's just it, the very blubbery, right? Yeah. And like very fatty. It's like yeah. uh, bear meat as well. Wasn't very good. Yeah. Like, does bear meat sound disgusting? Yeah. That that's be, that's sound, because that it does is. sound disgusting. <laughs> any like I'm to think of more any stuff. like apex predator? I just feel is just doesn't <laughs> taste. Just shouldn't <laughs> taste good. Like you crocodile. Know? Crocodile. I've never had crocodile before. I've had crocodile. It's like a, it's like tough chicken. Tough yeah, chicken. It, it is. It's like tough chicken. It, it, okay. If you close frogs, your eyes frogs, and ate it, does that sound disgusting? Yes, and I think they are disgusting. I actually quite frogs like are frogs. fucking delicious. I actually man. quite like. Holy frogs. shit, frog legs! I can't. Actually, they just like they just like they just like baby chicken legs. Yeah, they're just I, baby I, chicken I, legs. I can't eat it without picturing that frog dancing. What, what? With a top hat. <laughs> Hello, my baby. Hello. Wait, when have, when have you had frogs? I had it when I was in France. One oh, time. okay. Yeah, and I, yeah it's fine. I did too, and it came yeah. on a plane. And I was like, oh shit, it's that boy. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just imagine it happy singing and dancing like 20 minutes ago. I don't know why. What's wrong uh, with my brain? Oh, yes. Okay. No, frogs, uh, no, but horses, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll fucking eat yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah. Uh, frogs I'm, too I'm, cute. I'm not a horse person, so I don't care about Are horses. you a frog person? Kind of like frogs. They're kinda <laughs> cute. They're kinda, <laughs> frogs are cute as fuck. Okay. Frogs are cute. Frogs okay, are cute. what about escargot? Mm -hmm. I was going to say, now that we're on that, escargot. Not a fan. You don't like escargot? I'm not a fan. I quite like it. Why does Gart look so stunned by me saying that? <laughs> I, look, like, I was just no. I wasn't stunned. I was like, why am I not? Why, why am I not surprised that Joey's like, yeah, I, I fuck. It's like, delicious. Fuck. It's great. Joey likes everything weird. Depends I on know. my mood. Depends on my mood. Because sometimes, I you know, we don't we don't want to admit it, but our mental image of something uh, can affect the taste. Sure. You know, it's mm. it's if you, you associate know. a food or a drink with yeah. like a bad time or a bad experience, it also is worse as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like I've I've had escargot, mm. and I I'm fine with the taste. I I'm never going to like 
go out and look for it. Mm. Uh, but I'm I'm not like opposed to it. But when I know it's escargot, I I know that there's this part of my brain that is just like you're eating a fucking slimy ass snake. Isn't it, isn't it okay. weird? Okay, in that in that vein, isn't it also weird that we're totally okay with eating snails, mm. but we're not okay with eating slugs? Well, <laughs> I mean, okay. Keep I've yourself. always thought I'm about not that. okay with it, either of them. Okay. Yeah, I'm not okay, okay with either. Why, 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 why did you assume we are okay with eating slugs? Well, I think well, slugs no, 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 no. Are... As in, like, as in, like, we're okay with eating snails, but we're not okay with eating slugs. Well, just like as a, I, as a always, I always found the snails, the slug snails, society. The slug society. <laughs> again, snails were the more refined slugs. Are they mind. though? I always thought they were the classier slugs. You they, know, they're I mean? just yeah. the slugs that live in caravans, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, like, yeah it's like the broke, the broke snail is the slug, right? Yeah. Like, and slug, you know, like snails are like snails. Slug, you know. Look, uh, slugs are just like snails that have gone through like the home, uh, the, the, homeless <laughs> the homeless crisis. You know, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> they, they ain't they ain't rich enough to buy a home. They're obviously and I mean, this, this they're the ones that got hit volatile. hard by the global financial crisis. <laughs> yeah, fuck man. Okay, I, ha- I had one. Fuck, I had it. And I forgot it. Um, it was um, what? Fuck, I forgot it. Okay, what what kind of things is that? Any animal body part to you that sounds disgusting? Uh, oh. Testicles. Testicles. Yeah, okay. I've had, I've had, I've had like bulls testicles before. Um, conceptually, I was like, all right, I'm eating nuts. Um, yeah, you know, that's whatever. But uh, but I, I'm very much in the mindset of like, you know, whatever it might be conceptually, as long as it tastes good, yeah. then I'm okay with it for the most for, part. For me, right? I'd actually. Because I I I think I'd actually rather eat a testicle, um, than eat. Should have been out of context. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather eat, eat a, a testicle. testicle, like conceptually, right? Yeah. I know something about eating like a blood vessel, or yeah. a blood vessel. So like 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 blood like, sausage, like a vein or something like. that. Oh, a vein. Because because I've I've, yeah. I've seen that before. You and can I, eat veins. Yeah. Uh, it's it's like a blood like a vein or an artery or something. Right. It's, uh, it's I, I've I've seen that before and I'm just like How do they get I, it out intact? What do you mean? Like like usually it's like quite you know, oh. they're quite small, right? So do they just pull uh, the arteries some, out? Well some of the, like the main big arteries. Oh, are, oh I are see, like, I see. Are like, you know, pretty pretty fucking fat. And yeah. I, I, I don't know something about <laughs> something about something about that just like freaks me the fuck out and I'm like, like I can't, eating I can't. blood, yeah. Okay, something that sounds conceptually di- disgusting. Yeah. Fish eggs. Fish eggs look and sound disgusting when you before you've had them and then you True. try it. You're like, oh, they're quite refreshing. Sure, yeah. Like uh-huh. if if you'd never had fish eggs, like and you've ne- you don't have a culture of eating them, and someone had said, hey, can you do you want to eat fish eggs? Like my parents were like, I told them that, and they were like, oh, <laughs> like is that like caviar? I'm like, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. caviar, but different. Well, yeah. caviar is fish eggs. Yeah, yeah. yeah, well, it's like, as in like the- oh, like the, salmon The roll, normal right? common fish eggs that you eat. In yeah, yeah. Fish eggs are fucking delicious, man. Yeah. Um, I remember like, someone like, cause uh, whenever like in Thailand, uh, whenever there's like, you know, if you fry the fish, sometimes the fish eggs, sometimes they don't remove the fish eggs. Oh. From the fish, oh, so we you, did oh that, that would freak me out. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so you open it up, and, and it's just like packed full. It's just, it's just like, on, me out. huh? No, oh, it's good. It's delicious, out. and it's one of the most delicious parts of the fish, mm. I think, because mm. it's fried. It absorbs all of the sauces that you fried in. I like them both separate now. I'm realizing. I like them, but <laughs> I don't see the eggs from the fish. I like that I just see the the eggs. <laughs> But that's weird, though, right? It, I, because again, it, because that's something weird because going on. Because conceptually, it's no different, right? It's just it's just separated. Yeah. That, yeah. That's like being like, oh, I like sausages and I like mashed potatoes, but I don't like bangers and mash. It's it's the equivalent to that. <laughs> I think I think it's just seeing, you know, sometimes everyone always says like how the sausage is made. You yeah. Know? yeah. It's like, I, I I see how the sausage is made and I don't mind that. I'm like, that's, yeah. that's fine. I, yeah. when, I, when I see where the eggs come from, I'm like, oh, that's, yeah. oh, that's weird. Yeah. Like when I see those videos where they open up the sturgeon to get the caviar yeah. and they just fucking rip this thing's stomach open like a doom like video and then grab all these hundreds of thousands of eggs. Yeah. I'm like, oh. Yeah. Oh, you're just yeah, it's pretty C- gnarly. You're just watching a C-section, man. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's like, basically what you're watching. When it comes in the tin, I don't question it. And I'm like, that's nice. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. But, but it's all about it, packaging. But when it, when it comes directly, they've ripped it out. I'm yeah, like, yeah. whoa, that's a lot. Yeah. I think caviar is like overrated anyway. I though. don't like caviar. Yeah, I had it one time I, and I was like, this is shit. Yeah, it's pretty overrated. It's it's the same as any other ingredient. You can't just slap it onto anything and just hope that it tastes good because it's People like- People just fucking add it to the menu to f- to make it more expensive. I'm yeah, convinced. I know. I don't think anyone actually cares about the flavor. Yeah. Because it's just salt. It yeah. is. It's, it's just, just yeah. it's just a little salt. And uh, it's, it's a little bit of salt and a little bit of like sea and 
like fishy, sea. fishy yeah. sea salt. Seawater yeah. flavor. Sea Why water would you flavor. sea salt? Yeah. <laughs> it's just very, yeah, that's it. It's just very expensive seawater. Let's yeah. be honest, <laughs> all right? That's, that's what it is. Oh my God. That can taste good, but uh, definitely not worth the price uh, that you pay. God, I, think I was a weird kid. I think I remember I liked the taste of the sea salt, like the, the sea. Like, I think I got it on me and I licked like my, I had like a wristband on or something. I licked it. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm licking everything. I think I licked it. I was like, damn, this shit tastes good. I oh, know it does taste good. Whenever <laughs> I mean, it's, it's just salt. salt. Wait, wait, wait. salt. I'm you like, shit. <laughs> shit, why the cholera taste so good in the ocean? Have you, have you never gone like swimming in the no, no, ocean no, no, and then you come out and then it dries out and then your and you, skin's like all like flaky because of the salt yeah. and you're like, Oh, that tastes good. Or like when you accidentally get it in your mouth and you're like, you're like, I'm not gonna tell anyone this, but it tastes really fucking good. <laughs> I taste good. Cause, cause there's no, uh, there's undoubtedly amount of sewage in this. And I'm not gonna say that yeah. I like yeah. the taste. It's, cause, cause, cause like, I remember when I was a kid uh, in, in Thailand, we had like, we owned like a bunch of dogs at our house and mm. my, my grandma did. Every time we'd go to a trip to the seaside, we'd come back and the dogs yeah. would just like fucking, we'd Reef. pet them and the, uh, uh, we'd, we'd pet the dogs and the dogs would like lick the fuck out of my hands. Oh, and, yeah. and I'm just like, oh yeah, I know where they're licking. <laughs> Man. God, I wish I was that yeah, dog. Yeah, I know I'm tasty. <laughs> Speaking right. of, I just thought of a tangent. Oh yeah. Uh, what about the etiquette and taboos of pooping in different cultures? <laughs> 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 Who, Howie, what did you put in this AI to get these prompts? Uh, I just, I put in, uh, give me talking points about a podcast uh, that talks about Japan, anime, pooping, and everything else and well, food. Here's, here's, here's the pooping one. So the etiquette in Japan, uh, you have to take your shoes off in some places. Like well, you have to wear a different pair of shoes to yeah. go to the toilet. Oh, yeah, 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 like yeah. the slippers. Like you, right. You'll be in a restaurant where you've taken off your shoes and to go into the toilet, you have to wear another pair of slippers. Yep. Yeah. The communal toilet slippers. Yep. Yeah. Do you ever this. use the communal toilet slippers in Hell Japan? no. <laughs> um, Hell no. I, it's, it's I do, gross. but it's kind of nasty when you think about it. It is. Like I'd rather just take my risks and touch the floor. Yeah. Because, it, yeah, because like think about like the amount of, first of all, like not clean, like socks and yeah, potentially, really you know, yeah. just sh feet that have been yeah. there. And then second of all, in the case with guys, right? Like think of the amount of like piss that just fucking flings out and oh, lands well, yeah. on the slippers, yeah. right? Yeah. And I don't know how often they're cleaning these slippers. I assume not very often Yeah, in some places, right? But the, but there have been some, like it's 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 a tie up for me. Normally I don't use it, but there's mm. sometimes I walk in a toilet and I see like a small little wet patch somewhere, and I'm like, yeah, I, sure, I, I yeah. ain't taking yeah. the chance, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I ain't taking yeah. the chance. Yeah, yeah, that's you the know? only time I would wear it. If but if like the the toilet looks clean and there's like no noticeable puddles or anything, then I'm just I'm just going in with my socks. Yeah. Is there a culture in Japan? Because I don't I don't know, and I'm asking mm. um, of, against like because in the UK and I think the US as well. There's kind of, um, I think it's mainly the UK. People really don't want to shit in public. Like they, shitting uh, in a public toilet is like a- Is that culture? I don't know if it's culture. I think it's whatever. an individual thing. Like I know a lot of people who really will do anything to not shit in I, public I, toilet. I am that person. Okay. I, I am that person. God's like, I'm, is this? <laughs> Yeah, cause I-, I Are you calling me out, Connor? No, I'm just saying like, I, I know, we, you probably know a lot of people who are like the same, right? Yeah, is yeah. it the same in Australia as well or is it? Um, yes, only because uh, unlike Japan, the public toilets is disgusting. In the They're story. a bit more disgusting, but I'm also a lot more forgiving when I eat a shit. Cause I'm kind mm. of the mindset of, I'm, okay. I'm in the mess. Okay, there's-, there's I'm part of the mess. There's a lot of reasons why I okay. wanna shit right in my the comfort of my own no, home. No, I, I don't get yeah. me wrong. I will never want to shit in a public toilet more than mine. Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. of course. But, but let's, let's, when nature calls- Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to okay, go, you okay. have to go. But like, let's take like, let's say hygiene out of it. The, let's assume you live in Japan, yeah. a country where the public toilets are clean as fuck. Okay. Sometimes, uh, sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes you can get unlucky. Of I've seen some yeah. gnarly toilets here. Yeah. I don't know. Like, my Japan's track record for public toilets compared to every other country I've been to yeah. is really fucking good. Yeah, I'll say that. Um, so taking that aspect out of it, uh, there's one, there's just, you know, sometimes there's just something comforting about shitting in a place that's your own home. Okay. Because- No, I I've, agree. Okay. Do you feel uncomfortable mm. shitting in your mate's place? No. Uh, yeah. In fact, I try and do it every time I go to my mate's house. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> What's wrong with okay, you? Jo uh, I that's the last time I invite uh, you around my house, Joey. <laughs> I, I, want, I want to mark my territory. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got, I, I don't like it. I think you had this one time in your house, God, I don't know if you still do. Yeah. You had the fur thing on your toilet. I don't oh, like, yeah, I, yeah. That freaks me out. Oh, yeah. It's like the last thing the I want- The carpet on the The thing. last thing I want to picture is carpet and shit. 
Like I want it to be like porcelain so that if I shit everywhere, it's super easy to wipe. Not that I'm right. shit everywhere, but just the yeah. thought of c- rubbing my ass cheeks against a carpet while I'm gonna shit. I'm like, oh, oh. Yeah, that's that's a little strange even for me. I don't me. think yeah, yours was on top. I don't think it was the, because in Japan they have, you can get the carpet on top of the toilet. Yeah, yeah. I, have, the I have the carpet on top of the lid. Yeah, that's pretty normal. Yeah. But then yeah. some people, some monsters have the carpet on the like actual part you sit on. Yeah, when yeah. yeah. And that's where I'm like, whoa. Yeah, it's a bit yeah. weird. I, 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 I'm, I, I think I just I'm, follow my wife on that one. I, I, was, <laughs> I, I, I won't get. I woke up one day and I'm just like, why? Why this? would you do this? What is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I had to. I had to just get used to it because like my grandma had it my whole life. Yeah, the, so I'm just kind of used to it now. But I not. But in saying that, I don't like it. I I like that we have certain rules in society that we don't change certain things, mm. and the design yeah. of the toilet has gone unchanged for generations. <laughs> and I don't think we should start rethinking it. I think the mm-hmm. toilet is a banger. Let's just stick with it. It's like, yeah. this is why I hate it when dudes wear like, when it's in a formal event and everyone's wearing a tuxedo and a guy wears something other than a tuxedo. It's like, mm-hmm. okay, what are you trying to do here? You're trying to fuck with the norm. You're tr- everyone has a social contract. We know the tuxedo is the go-to. We all know that we can just whip out the tuxedo and we're taken care of. I, it's fine. I, Don't I, start changing the norm. Don't change the toilet. Okay, here's a question then. If you're out in public, right? Yeah. And, and, and this applies mostly to people who are comfortable with shitting in public, AKA Connor, Yeah. right? But say you're in a situation, and I'm, I'm sure you've been in a situation like this, because I certainly have. You're, you ha- you have to take a shit. Like you can't hold it in, right? Yeah. But that's fine. You're okay with public to- shitting yeah. in public, right? You walk in and there are only the Japanese style toilets. Do you take a shit? If I gotta go, I gotta go. I, I've never done it though. I've never shat in a Japanese style toilet, which right. is um, also you just squat over a hole. Yeah, the squat toilets. Um, yeah. I've avoided it yeah. thus far. Have you, have you ever? Chat in the Japanese style toilet before? Oh, I mean, yeah, I mean, we have those all the time in Thailand. Right. Um, it's they're the worst. It's basically at every gas station. It's it's awful. Yeah, I hate it's it. The how worst. do you um, how do you avoid splashback? In what? In the standing toilets, because you're dropping it like that, that. That's gaining some G's. That shit. <laughs> like you, you ain't dropping it that far, mate. How, what, are you, how, what are you standing up? What are you doing? Like how far are we doing it like that? Wait, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold on. At, no, no. The, the real question is at what velocity does the shit leave your ass? Quite. So much so that it splashes. Bro, if I'm dying and I'm using one of those toilets, it's probably a, a pretty vicious force that's coming out. I would. So how low are we getting when we're shitting? Are we we're like- get, We're getting we very full, low. Like, like, Knees are like fully bent like this. Yeah, knees are fully I, bent. Oh, I was Wait, in a Japanese like in a Japanese toilet? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, you're like fully squatting. Yeah, you're fully oh, squatting. I, I thought it was like a 90 degree kind of knee <laughs> situation. <laughs> I can just imagine just Connor seeing the squad toilet. He's like, all right. Standing up. Just like dropping it for like two feet. I, I, yeah. I've never tried and I, I don't I don't dare try. Connor just like takes his trousers off and just stands on top of the toilet. <laughs> just, just like hands, hands. Just like, so, 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 so I imagine like, say, Oh no 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 no! no. no. It, you're like you're like fully it's Asian squatting. Yeah, it's literally like like this. Yeah yeah, like yeah. You're, you're on Asian, Asian squatting. Asian, you're, you're Asian squatting. Asian yeah, squatting. that's why Asian squat exists how, so how they can these, shit correctly. How do these man. like ninety year old men do that? Like how do they get back up? Do people like just get stuck? No, because they probably they have probably have to do it every day. No, I've seen some old people in Japan who can barely like walk around. <laughs> oh, they probably own Western toilets in that yeah. case. Damn straight they yeah. do. Damn straight they do. <laughs> Yeah, you need that's. I, I think that's why every Asian is like pre-programmed in their gene to be able to Asian school. Yeah, just in case they need to shit in a public toilet. You okay, know? He, here's another question then. When okay. it comes to etiquette, okay. Okay. Um, again, this doesn't apply to you. Right. It applies to you though. <laughs> when you shit in a public toilet, right, Western one. Okay. Do you use the bidet? Yes. Okay, because I know a lot of people who don't. Okay, so because it's like, why would I share a bidet? with some rando. Oh, well, I'm, I'm fine with sharing a bidet. Because That's like, dumb. because the way the bidet comes out, right? It comes yeah. out like like this angle, right? Yeah. And the bidet shoots the water that way. Yeah. So there's no way it could get dirty. And, and even if it did, it's like, well, it's no more dirty than putting your ass cheeks on the toilet anyway. Like, That's exactly. And, you. and you're already washing it with water. So let's say even yeah. if there was a tiny bit of dirt left on the bidet, somehow yeah. it would get blown away anyway from all the ass washing you're doing. Right. Yeah. I feel like that's like a weird, Mind block. It is, but I, I know a few people who have that mindset, and I've told them if that exact if, same thing. If, they're like, "No, it's still if, like." If you're willing to put your cheeks on the same seat that like one thousand <laughs> plus other people have put their cheeks on, yeah, and some people have probably gotten it dirty as well. Like, yeah. I'm, I feel like you have no, yeah, like uh, I think you're fine. At that point, it's like whatever. At yeah. that point, you use the Japanese style toilet. Yeah, there's no lid to sit on. Just bring your own, bring your own bidet. <laughs> 
Do you know one of like the scariest sights to see in like a public toilet in mm. my mind? Mm. Like, so, so you, you need a shit, right? Someone just goes out of the toilet stall. You go in and you see that they put like the toilet lid down and you're like, oh fuck. You have to touch it. Oh, he, he's just dropped a fat one. Yeah. Cause you, you, you know what I mean? Because every time that happens, because you never like, when, when you go to a public toilet, you, like, do you put the toilet seat down afterwards? No. As, as in like, after you take a shit? No. No. Uh, no. You, I, I, you, I only do that when I know I've dropped a fucking stinker. Oh like no. A f- <laughs> like a fucking nuclear bomb. So no. every time I walk in a toilet store and I see the toilet seat is like fully down, I'm like, someone's just fucking destroyed this toilet. And I don't know if I'm emotionally <laughs> no, for me, prepared. For me, I'm more scared of, even though I just heard the flush, yeah. I walk in and I see the lid is closed. Somewhere deep in my mind, I'm like, if I open this, I'm going to see that guy's turd. <laughs> Still in there. He's he's left me no, no. a nasty fucking surprise Dude. that I'm not ready to open this. I'm not it's, ready to open this Pandora's box, it's, but it's, I need to. It's the smell. Cause I know as soon as I open it, mm. it's just like, I know I'm gonna fucking smell. It's gonna be a bomb. It's gonna be a bomb. I, I know I'm gonna hit, be hit with that uh, wave of smell. And I'm like, oh God, why can I have just waited like 10 more minutes for the smell to dissipate. But uh, yeah, that's uh nasty. Do I, you use that weird like toilet seat outline sheet you can get at some toilets? Um, sometimes I do. Occasionally, if it's a really nasty looking toilet, I'll try, but I get so frustrated because it never stays on the fucking seat. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah you can yeah. get these like kind of toilet paper style things that kind of go around the whole toilet and then you poke out the it's, middle. It's, it's yeah. like a serviette for a toilet. It's yeah. really <laughs> weird and it's so fid- fidgety and it never stays in place and I have to like, quickly put it down and get my ass on it yeah. so it stays. Yeah. I hate that thing so much. Because it's so thin, so the lightest breeze just fucking yeah, switches yeah. it around. Well, like yeah. your, the pressure from your ass approaching will blow it away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so I, I normally don't use it, mm. but- Yeah. Just, but sometimes- uh, just, thought, just thought I wanted yeah. that. Sometimes a little did. extra protection doesn't hurt. Yeah. In Japan, they love the, they have this thing as well. It's pretty common um, where you can clean the toilet seat if you want to. Oh, with the wet wipes. There's right? like um, there's like a another spray. It's not for your hands. Um, it's like for you can put some of the toilet roll and then wipe it. Yeah, yeah. They do that occasionally. Yeah, it depends how spicy I'm feeling. If it's a <laughs> yeah. long one, I'm like, all right, I'm just getting settled in. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> okay, here, here's the question. Here's the question. What do you do? You're desperate for the toilet. Mm. Go in a public toilet. Mm. You walk in. Mm. No toilet paper, and mm. you realize too late. Uh, I've never had that issue. You've never had that issue. I've, I've, never, I've, had, that I've issue. never had that issue. <laughs> <laughs> or like, or it's it's either like there's no toilet paper, or of course I have. Oh. It's that's what this is why I hate going into public toilets. Uh, well, that's why check. I always <laughs> check before I go in. Sometimes you just forget because you're just too fucking desperate. Then you that that first one comes out, it's a fat one. And you look over, you're like, oh no, Defcon Five. <laughs> it's it's it, it, you, I need emergency meeting time, guys. Hopefully you're with a friend. <laughs> and they can get help. That's like the play, right? Yeah, if I mean- you're not, you're fucked. Yeah. Well, just- see, cause I've learned from that. And so now in whatever bag I have while I'm out, I always have like pocket tissues <laughs> just in case. Cause you never know. I, like- wait, no, I think I have had this. I think I'd probably yeah. just like had a really dirty ass and walked to the next toilet. <laughs> cause you had no other choice. <laughs> like, what can you do? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like, what, what, like if you're alone, what can you do? It's yeah. like it's like when you're at home as well, though, right? And you realize that there's no toilet, like toilet paper on the toilet roll. You look to where you usually have all your toilet paper. There's none there either. Yeah. Right. So what do you do in that situation at home? Uh, just go in the shower. Yeah, you can shower. Yeah, yeah. Shower I just strat. I just like shower shower that yeah. shit away. Shower strat. Yeah. <laughs> Just the Damn. good old, the good old fucking shower strap. <laughs> All right, what's the sure. next? All what's right. the next tangent? The next tangent is the funniest and most bizarre Japanese advertisements. <laughs> I'm surprised we never talked about this. Yeah. I saw one the other day, mm. right? And I don't know what it was promoting. Okay, but it was like a cow that was styled like Josuke from JoJo. <laughs> we had like the pompadour. He's like a delinquent, and yeah. then the cow walks up to these two delinquents on the train and is like leave those old people alone. And then the old people take a seat and then it cuts to the product. I don't know what they were. <laughs> I don't know what they were promoting or what the message was. <laughs> that definitely sounds like a Japanese ad. I have no yeah. idea. And then it, I think it was like some kind of milk based 
instant soup. It was something right, weird. Right, right. Yeah. I, there's a lot of weird Japanese ads. Yeah. I mean, like, you know, I think what's funny is that, like, you know, in the West, there's that, like, whole stereotype of, like, oh, Japanese ads are some of, like, the most wackiest, they don't make any fucking sense type of ads. Mm. And, yeah, there's certainly a lot of them, but, like, I think a lot of people have this weird image that that's the majority of ads in Japan. Right. Whereas well, there are some boring. normal ads in Japan. Well, that- them is really boring. They love chimes still. Like they love jingles. chimes. Yeah, they love yeah. jingles. Like jingles, they, they push jingles so hard. One uh, one ad that I recently saw that I thought was really funny uh, was, uh, you know, obviously because like Chainsaw Man is still massive in yeah. Japan. Uh, I saw this huge like banner advertisement in one of the train stations. And it was just this, like, the, like 95% of this banner was just Makima's face. <laughs> And I've was, seen this one. And I was like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. And, I, and I read it and it's a an ad for a recruitment company. <laughs> it basically said, I want you to be mine. But it was like, it was written in like Makima style of like speech. And it's like, I want you to be mine. Bro, Come I, to this recruitment company. I'm like, that is so giga brain. I hate how I effective I know that ad is. Yeah. You know, <laughs> just by putting fucking Makima's <sighs> face and being like, you can work under for me. Yeah, you can be mine. <laughs> you can be mine. I'm like, fuck. Can I have my own Makima in my life, man? <laughs> yeah. So sometimes they're like gigabrain. Other times it's just like, uh, you know, I think a lot of the wins ones that I've seen where it's just like, that's kind of unnecessary is that they take like a celebrity or a comedian or whatever. Mm. Yeah. They put them into like a weird fucking like bodysuit. Yeah, they have a lot of weird surrealist mm. type of commercials where it's yeah. like, what the fuck is happening? Yeah, like there's this commercial that's been playing all the time. Like every taxi I've gone through recently where it's, these people on stage dancing or something like that. And it's like this absurdist nightmare where they slowly turn into puppets or something like that. And then like one person turns into a puppet, but everyone keeps on dancing. And then slowly the entire crew is just like a fucking, uh, is, is, is a plastic puppet or something like that. And I'm like, what this is fuck? this is the stuff of nightmares, actually. <laughs> what are you trying to promote here? I'm so confused. Dude, like taxi ads are like some of my favorite because it's like, yeah. they tr- they're clearly trying to like make it, you know, interesting and like kind of visually appealing and like visually like fun, happy times, yay. But all of the ads are just like, join up with this cloud management system they, they have for one, your company. They have it's that like, one ad that runs in every single taxi and it's yeah. the translation uh, device. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then there's always like these quizzes yeah. in the taxi that's like, dun, it'll say- It'll be like a Japanese phrase and it'll be like, what's the answer in English? And it'll be like, it's very nice to meet you. It's lovely to meet you. And it's like, and I'm like pressing it like- uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know this one. <laughs> like, oh, I know yeah. this. Uh, I saw this ad the other day in a taxi that was just, it was promoting this mattress, right? Yeah. That was meant to be so stable that, uh, and how they tried to promote it was they got someone to jump on the mattress with like a glass of red wine. That's what oh, they always do. Huh? Which yeah, is what they yeah, always yeah. do. But I noticed in the advertisement, um, they had this shot where this guy jumps on, this guy in a suit jumps on, right? And the glass is like, and, uh, like in front of him in frame, yeah. right? Uh, but also in frame was the fact that this glass was on top of a towel that was opaque. <laughs> and and you could see this shot where this guy jumps on the uh, jumps on this mattress. He like panics for a bit, looks at the glass and then just smiles. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, you sneaky motherfuckers. How many takes of this? How many fucking takes did this get, man? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking false. How advertise. many mattresses do they have to go through? <laughs> yeah. I think it's the koala Japanese ads. Um, yeah, it might be the koala okay. Japanese have you, ads. Have you seen the legendary Long Man commercials? Long Long Man. Long. Love long, those long. ads. What's that one? It was like, oh yeah, he's yeah. it. It's basically like this product for this suite in Japan. That's this very long. Uh, it's like, gum. oh yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. then this, they told like a story through like 10 ads where the yeah. guy like left his wife and was gay or something. Yeah. Like, something like that, yeah. yeah. It was really good. It was really oh, good, that, like, that, was, that was brilliant. They do yeah. a lot of those actually, like SoftBank uh, has had this like long running like story arc in their advertisements mm. where it's like, they get back, uh, uh, they get like uh, characters from like Japanese folklore mm-hmm. and like uh, put them in situations where no. it's like, oh, you know, uh, Momotaro, would you like? Uh, 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 I want to. I want a way to be able to contact you when I make it to the island of the devils. Mm-hmm. Well, why not try SoftBank? And it's <laughs> and th- this ad ha- series, I guess, has been going on for like. 10 plus years oh my God. Right. and they're still making it with these like recurring characters. So much so I think I went to a soft bank the other day and I saw that they were selling merch of these characters. Makes sense. Why not? Why not? Yeah. And I'm like, who, who is buying this? <laughs> yeah. 
SoftBank I mean, employees. I mean, I, I also noticed that a lot of Japanese strategy when it comes to advertisement is, can we make this thing an anime character? Yeah. Have, you, have you noticed every time you like, every time I've gone to like a new yeah. prefecture or something, oh, yeah. and, and they try to promote whatever that prefecture is famous yeah. for. There's like, some really it's, bad yeah. mascots. It's called, yeah. They're called Yudu Kara. Yeah, but um, every prefecture or like city or whatever has this like kind of mascot type thing. Usually, you know, they, they also make like a giant fucking, uh, you know, Some of them are so it. fucking ugly. Yeah. And they're so bad at yeah. like the designs. Yes. Yeah. I like, uh, I like making, I in, uh, so I think notes. it's Hakodate or, uh, or Hokkaido, uh, they have Meronkuma, which is the the, the bear with the, me the melon on oh, his head. Yeah. And I'm like, it's just a fucking black bear with a melon on his head. <laughs> this has got nothing to do with Hokkaido. Yeah, I've 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 so, I started to notice this because uh, I went to Yamanashi Prefecture mm. uh, like a month ago, and then they had they were trying to advertise their wine because yeah. of course they did. And how they did that was uh, these uh, they they had an <laughs> a boy idol group that they had made <laughs> to represent all the different wines that they were that were made there. Oh my god! And I'm just like, really? <laughs> you had to get like. France is crying right now, man. Fucking all of Europe is crying. What, you've, what have you done to our wine, man? Wait, so there's like, is like, I'm Chardonnay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Literally like that. Merlot, Bro. he's a little dark and spicy. And, and they had made their own fucking like anime trailer for, for oh these boys God. as well. And I'm just like, oh. I need to see this. Oh, what are you doing? Wait, let me look it up. It's just like Yamanashi wine this as well, like outside of Harajuku, I don't know if it's still there for a very long time. Mm -hmm. uh, in front of the exit, there was this like anime manga panel and it looked like a romance thing, but it was okay. advertising password safety. Yes. You know the yes, thing you're talking yes, about? Yes, yes, yes. I told yeah. it's in, uh, in front of Harajuku, yeah. It's like, it's like a, a guy and a girl texting and they're in love or something. And then it's, yeah. I can't remember why, but it's literally all just about securing your passwords. <laughs> and it's like, what the fuck? I love, yeah, it's, it literally just, if, if you just take a glance at it, it just yeah. looks like a, a panel from like a standard shoujo romance manga. Right. But then when you look at what they're actually saying- What if I can saying, find it? Like, yeah. Can, can we find it, Abby? Uh, the, um, the, um, yeah, it, I think I remember one of them is like the, the guy's doing like a cupboard on to like the girl and the girl is right. like, huh. and then the guy's like, do you want to make this relationship as strong as your password? <laughs> <laughs> and then at the bottom in the tiny font, it's just like password security company or something like that. And I'm yeah. just like, that is so giga brain. I, I love it oh, when they yeah. like, yeah. I love it when they're like mix, mix and match uh, mediums and stuff like that for yeah. advertisements. Um, well, there is an article on Crunchyroll, but it's blocked. Oh, great. Because oh, okay. like, we're in Japan. Yeah, right, right. right. Quickly open ExpressVPN. <laughs> yeah, uh, like the headline was something about shoujo manga. Yeah, yeah. Promoting IT safety. Yeah, yeah. It's like, there's a panel, but there's a back. Yeah, that's the yeah, one. Yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. One. Oh, that's the one. yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like cabadoning him there. Um, <laughs> hold on, I got it. I just want to protect you as much as your password does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's this one. Uh, literally like, like this. Like they're all. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's like, hey, make it's like make yeah. sure to look after your password. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah, it's like it's like I'll be waiting until you change your password. <laughs> <laughs> it's, so, so it's so smart. It's so good. That's so that's so. I remember because somebody asked me, they were like, I was with someone, they were like, what is that? What is what is that advert? And I was like, yeah. oh, I have passwords. Yeah. They're like, what? <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. It's so giga brain. I love it. Yeah, they, they yeah. get really creative with some stuff in like really cool ways. Mm. Like the um that really famous um 3D curved advertising screen in Shinjuku, the one oh, that they yeah. play the cat, yeah. mm -hmm. the cat jumps out. Mm -hmm. And they've been, you know, if you want that's like their equivalent of Times Square now. Yeah, like yeah. In Japan, it's like if you want the billboard, that's the one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. curved. You do 3D. I it is when, pretty sick though. When One Piece Red was out. Mm. They had like a whole One Piece thing playing on it where Luffy like jumps out and there's like- Oh, cool. Ah, or something, I can't remember. It was like, it was Yeah, cool. that sounds like Luffy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Luffy be like, ah! Luffy jumping out and screaming, that's uh, Luffy. He is literally yeah. the Tyler Wan of anime. Woo! Uh, <laughs> 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 hey, we should formulate a plan. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> but uh, what, what, what always interests me is like, so, you know, so, sometimes seeing like the anim the anime tie-in mm. like products and just yeah. kind of seeing the lengths they will go to with Evangelion to see how they can tie Ava into this one well, product. Well, Pachinko. <laughs> Pachinko is oh, yeah. like easy very, mode, very man. Very popular. Yeah, Pachinko is yeah. like easy mode. I think the weirdest Ava one I ever saw was, I think they were advertising like, 
horse race betting, uh, horse race betting or something like that. Mm. And they had made- They were doing, this- bo- they were doing boat race betting as well. Oh really? Yeah. Oh Cause what I saw, I saw like Ava unit one, as like a horse, like running what it down. Fuck? And like Gendo was betting on him. I was like, this is the weirdest <laughs> ass shit I've ever seen in my life. I, the, I, what I love is the absolute dichotomy where it's like, we will not give the English rights to, to make, <laughs> to license this to anybody for 20 years. Oh yeah. yes, go ahead, make horseman gamble. Like, what the fuck? Like, we're so strict with who we give our IP out to, yeah. unless it's minions and you, our cleaning products. And it's like, what the, what the fuck? Why do you become super strict about who gets to do it when it comes yeah. to foreign people and yeah, having, exactly having an english adaptation like it's just like we don't get- want you to ruin the image of i of our <laughs> ip me and meanwhile here's what we do with our ip you know it's just it's, it, it blows my fucking it's so mind. like double-sided and like everything yeah. like with like uh even like nintendo right yeah. like yeah nintendo love to be like we will we are so stringent with our ip if you go to some arcades there are certain machines that are mario party gambling machines oh, yeah, seen, yeah, yeah. Seen these? yeah it's basically a six player mario party gambling machine mm-hmm. yeah. where it's it's with real money, you you play and you try and progress around the board mm. to win more money. Yeah, it's like, I'm sorry, what Nintendo? <laughs> like, I, no guns in, in games, but gambling is cool. Yeah, yeah. But it's in Japan. It's, 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 it's in Japan. fine. It's in well, Japan. Well, it's and you know, in terms of like the image that Japan has in terms of that advertising. I, I'd say a lot of it is actually like pretty normal. It's not as it's not as crazy as what people yeah, think. Yeah, that's it what I'm is. saying. Like, there's definitely yeah. crazy ones out there, but it's certainly not the majority. Because I'm I'm going to say, in Thailand, Thailand are actually fucking amazing and making crazy ass fucking commercials. I've, man. I've seen some Thai commercials that I saw on YouTube that are like <laughs> more heart wrenching than some of like the most heaviest drama films Bro, I've seen in my life. There are some Thai commercials that are just I like cried to watch that, that are just like a two minute short film and then it ends and they're just like, "Have you heard about life insurance?" And I'm just like, "Yo, you just fucking yanked my heart out for to life be fair, insurance." For life insurance, yeah. you're working with the easiest thing to make a. Yeah, but like, but these ads are like these ads are. Like how the fuck like, is like Cheerio short. is gonna make yeah. yourself. But these ads are like short films. And and there are like so many Thai ads that yeah. don't get uploaded on YouTube that are just weird as fuck. Like I remember right. the, I'm having like a flashback of just some of the adverts I saw as a kid when I was in Thailand watching on TV. And mm. I remember there was, I, was, I was watching, I was in Thailand watching some show and then it went cut to commercial. And then it showed the scene of like a group of a uh, group of like robbers or like bank heist people. Mm. Um, and they had like broken into this building. Yeah. And they're like, oh shit, I think we got the wrong building. I don't think this is the bank. And I think, and one guy goes, oh, I think this is like the supermarket. Like there's a fridge over there. Mm. Um, and so they were like, what, wh- why, 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 have, why is there all these like drinks here? Have we got into the wrong place? And so like they start drinking it to, to like try it out. And then it zooms out to be like, it's a commercial for an optician to be like, have you, ha, do you need a new prescription for your glasses? Yeah. And it zooms out and the building they've broken into is a sperm bank. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and watching that as a kid, I'm just like, what is this? That's so what, good. what am I what, watching what's right the joke, now? Dad? Oh, that's so good. <laughs> it's, like, it's like some shit you'd see in like American Pie or something. And I'm like, that's that was a weird thing to see as a kid. And yeah, th- th- like, Go go Google some Thai commercials because they have some wild ass shit. There. But that's the thing. I feel every country has their fair share of like what the fuck type mm, of commercials. Pretty boring right? ads in the UK. I think. Really? Yeah. Uh, I don't, in Australia, for instance, like there was one ad that just stuck with me forever. It was a, it was an ad for Cadbury chocolate, um, and I think it actually won like a was like it the British one, like the, one an, with the was it the gorilla the gorilla one. Yeah, that was huge. Yeah, yeah that, that was, was massive. Everywhere. Everyone, everyone was like, I remember when I was a kid when that came on the TV. Everyone was like, everyone, the ads on, the ads yeah, on. He's like, it's the gorilla. <laughs> he's playing in the air tonight. Yeah. On <laughs> Honestly, that was probably That's the by most, far the biggest, the one. most yeah. genius ad I've seen. Um, yeah, there's another one. Um, I don't know if it's British or Australian. It probably is Australian, but there's a one for uh, a, some kind of Australian beer. Um, and it's this like, it's this couple that's like sleeping in the bed. Yeah. And the guy is, is just sleeping next to his girl and whatever. And his tongue starts crawling out of his mouth. And it, it like like a worm. 
Right. And it, and it goes like across, it goes out of the house and it crawls across the road to this house party and goes into the cooler, grabs a beer, brings it back yeah. and crawls it all the way to the guy's mouth. And then the guy wakes up with the beer in his mouth and it's like, yeah. have a beer. <laughs> and it's, and it's, but like at the time, the CG was so good that it was so incredibly disturbing seeing this yeah. realistic tongue just like, <laughs> like out of this guy's mouth and just crawling around on the ground. Yeah. Oh, just shit like that. I, th I think some, 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 some adverts I remember the like stand out to me. Yeah. We, we had like the gorilla one, which was like fucking- Yeah, that was huge. Like huge. And another one, I think it was uh ad for, obviously didn't do its job because I can't remember the product it was selling, yeah. but I remember the advert itself because it, it had that song where it was just like, doon, 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 doon. and it, it looked like a pretentious uh film about surfers. Cause okay. there, was this one, there was this one surfer. Um, and you just hear the song in the background, just going doon, 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 doon. And then like the uh, announcer comes on and he just goes, he waits. That's what he does for the perfect wave. Tick follows talk, follows tick, follows talk, <laughs> follows tick. And, uh, and it just fucking builds up and he finds that perfect wave. And I don't know why that advert just like sticks in my mind so much. I'm pretty sure it's a fucking beer advertisement. It's, I want to watch it. I, it I, sounds man. so avant-garde when you like describe it to me. <laughs> no, it, it I, was avant-garde. I, I love uh, like anti-drug commercials as well. Those are fun. Oh yeah. They're always like insane. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, of course. You can forget that legendary ad. The one I think it's an I think it's an Irish ad. The one where the car, it's like a, a, dr a drunk driving PSA. And yeah. The car topples over and hits like twenty kids. Have you oh seen, yes. Uh, have you seen this one? I yeah, have yeah, seen yeah. That, that one. one's like whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who yeah. thought of this one? <laughs> Oh God! Someone had a dark day at the office. Yeah. All right. I'm All right. feeling like a tangent. Well, okay. Go All on. Right. I feel like a go go for the tangent. Anime tropes we love to hate. Isekai. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a trope, Joey. It That's is now. not a trope. It is now. High school. How'd you guys- Do we hate it? I hate it. Yes, I do. How I, do mm. I'm, I'm so, I, the moment I see our anime now and it's like, he's a normal high school. <laughs> like <laughs> Cyberpunk 2077, I nearly clocked out when he was in school. Cause I was like- Do you mean Age Runners? Uh, sorry, yeah. Edge Runners. Yeah. yeah, sorry, Edge Runners. Yeah. Uh, when he was in school, I was like, I swear to fucking God, if they made a cyberpunk and they put it in a fucking school, I'm gonna lose it. And then of course he leaves school that episode. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. thank God. But like, I'm just so over anything with high school. I think I've said this before on the anime. Like, yeah. I'm just, yeah. I'm just bored. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How, okay, how do we feel? Because this is one of the, this is one of the things that's like parodied the most, mm. right? But like the, over explanations when it comes to anime fights. Oh, the set me sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and, 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 and let's take Jojo and Baki out of this conversation because I right. feel like those are like, those are so ridiculous. I need the explanations. Yes, you know? of course. I, I, I need them. So like you're, you're talking about like, say like in a in a sports anime, for example, where like, as, as you know, this like second by second play is happening. Yeah. Some guy in the fucking crowd has an ex has time to do a three minute explanation of or what's not, happening. Like it, sports anime or even like any shonen battle anime. Yeah. Fucking half like, of Hunter I, Hunter I, I, was I do that. like the Hunter Hunter narration though. Yeah. I don't know, there's something about it. <laughs> it's <laughs> yeah, um, gone realized he fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't, I don't know. I, I think it's just like so commonplace now where I just don't think about it anymore. Yeah. I do think it's, kind of lazy. Mm. I feel like if you are if you make it interesting, you can convey all this information without needing to tell the audience. Right, yeah. to show don't tell, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Cause, um, cause I, I was thinking about this because I think it's just something we've accepted that anime just fucking does. Yeah. You know, this is this is just a thing. We are gonna mm. explain what's happening. Um, and it's not only until like recently when we've just seen examples where it's been handled better than it has in the past. Mm. Like I think uh, I think Jujutsu Kaisen has had a really good balance between showing what's happening versus like explaining what's happening. Mm. Um, and I recently did like a video on like manga adaptations and I realized, I, I realized what difference it makes when you just take out the explanation, uh, take out the explaining and just show what's happening on screen. Mm. And it's just like, holy shit, this works so much better. Mm. It just takes so much more effort. Yeah. But so few anime actually go out and do it. Yeah. Um, and, and that's the problem, right? Is that like some of the best stories in manga and anime, uh, you know, don't require a whole lot of explanation or even dialogue to like tell you what's happening. Like, you know, like Blam, for example, right? Like that manga yeah. has barely any dialogue at all, yeah. but it's still coherent enough because it shows you every step of the way visually. 
And as long as you can like kind of pe put the pieces together as to like the sequence of what's happening, then it's fucking epic. But the problem is, as you said, it just takes more brain power to figure out what's happening because it's very much open to interpretation, right? So I think yeah. they've just like, yeah, maybe it is laziness. I don't know. Maybe they, maybe I the authors just have decided being like, well, I could show them, but at the same time, I'm afraid to alienate any readers into what exactly is happening. And it might, you know, deter them from like enjoying it, the rest of the story. It comes right? from manga, right? So I mm. think it's, that's why we often get this over explanation kind of approach yeah. to it. Cause, mm. Cause you need it in yeah, manga. You, 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 you need can't, it. You can't Dude, I, there's so many, so many manga that I've shown in manga that I really struggle to see what's going on in the fight. Yeah. Like, mm. I don't know. Am I the only person who has this problem? I, no, no there, 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 are, there are some fights where I'm just like, I don't know what the fuck's happening. There, there are some like, manga that are better than others. Uh, um, sometimes I just, I, 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 I am looking at the battle and I am, I am re reading the panels, like mm. going over it four times. And I'm like, I still in my head cannot figure out what's <laughs> happening. You, you read Claymore, didn't you? Yeah, I read all of Claymore. That yeah. was hard. Holy shit! Because I, I, um, I've like I reread it like recently, yeah. um, and that was almost fucking impossible to discern what's happening Especially because the later fights, yeah, oh, because right, like, like weird. in group fights you have like all of these claymore where all of them are like silver heads. Uh, Silverhead woman wearing the same fucking uniform, and I'm like, who is even fighting right now? I jet, I actually cannot tell who's swinging the sword. Yeah, <laughs> it's just, it's that that one was like hard. I, but I think that's the thing, right? It's like it's 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 all up to the the different author on like their skill on being able to like show the flow of movement, right? Like yeah. the reason why like Berserk, for example, like Mira did such a good job on that is oh, that like yeah, a that... lot of the fights don't really have an explanation, right? Yeah. And if and if there is an explanation, it's maybe like one or two frames, right? Yeah. But he yeah. was such he was such a master. Yeah, Berserk at, was really easy to follow. Yeah, because like, he was such exactly a master at like figuring out the flow of movement and like where to show it and how to show it that it was just very self-explanatory, even in yeah. like yeah. big fights, right? And Claymore was hard to follow. Yeah. <laughs> even though oh. so, the, Claymore has amazing fucking art, like the monster yeah. design in Claymore oh, yeah. is like incredible. Yeah. Uh, but the way the story went because of the story, because of how the story was structured mm. around a group of people who basically are look exactly the same and uh, all dress exactly the same yeah. uh, and have the same kind of weapons. Just I really big like swords. the world of Claymore. Though. I, I really like the yeah, world of Claymore. Yeah, Claymore was, was great. Really cool yeah, it was a really cool, it was a really cool world. Check it out if you haven't. Mm. The yeah. anime was quite good, but stopped. Don't, don't. <laughs> the anime had a original ending. Remember oh, when anime have like, yeah. remember when the anime just went its own path and was gonna like, and was like, I'm gonna do my own thing. I'm gonna end it my <laughs> so own. I don't I mean, think I fair, will. The best part of Claymore anyway is the part up until like, that's the, the first, halfway point. first half. Yeah, 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 yeah the yeah, first yeah. half, that's yeah. That's good anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Cause there's no high school in it. So that's why it's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> What'd you hate about high school? Is there, is there a single anime that's based in high school that is like, I can forgive this? Yeah, like, I, I mean, the, okay. There are a lot of shows where it makes a lot of sense. Mm. And I, I've gone on this rant before, and there's a lot of shows where I just feel like, if anything, it detracts from it. Mm. Um, like, obviously, um, like, you know, uh, Light being a high a college student or a high school student mm. as yeah. well. I have no qualms about that. That makes sense in the story. Mm. It, uh, you know, it adds to the reason why you'd never suspect this character to be doing this stuff because right. he's a normal high school student. But there's other ones where I'm just like, like, like Tokyo Revengers, did do they really need to be high school students? Like straight up, like that show is- Actually, they were middle school students. It's even worse. <laughs> like I, I, I went on this whole rant when, I, when we talked about this before, yeah, but yeah. Like, Tokyo Revengers was actually ruined for me because yeah. they are all middle school students. Yeah. Like it makes the show so much shitter. I don't understand why they did that. But it's such an interesting dichotomy, isn't it? Because we say that about Tokyo Revengers and yet we're okay with Hanayama <laughs> from Baki being 14. <laughs> Baki, Baki. Is, isn't it? It's, it's such okay. a weird if like- you guys yeah. watch Baki, they're all high school students, but like, it's like, not even the heat, the main character's high school student fighting like fully grown men. Yeah. yeah. It, it literally nothing in Baki makes any sense. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. Yeah. And also he's literally never in school. No. He's a high school student. Uh, he was, he's the worst high school student in Japan. He's never, <laughs> how is that man not expelled? I don't know. Like he is never at school. Where yeah. are the police? I, I guess they, but then he's- uh, he, Do you think the police are gonna stop him? Well, he <laughs> talks to the fucking US military at one point. I don't think it's an issue. I'm sorry if there's a high, if, if, if if in this world, the, the US military comes and talks to a high school student about like asking him to not fight because he's basically a weapon of mass destruction. <laughs> I think all other normal rules go out the window. Um, so I, listen, I think, your dad just talked to Obama the other day. We discussed yeah, this. Yeah. Don't. I, I, I think the series that like, 
I think the series that jarred me the most in terms of like adding high school in it, mm. um, is this is a pretty old one actually. It's a Awari no Seraph. Um, Seraph yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yes. So, yes. So, yes. Do you, yes. you remember this? So like the I, first- I really like the show, but yeah, I, I like I the fucking... show as well. <sighs> but the, but like, so like, I remember the first like two or three episodes, we, we are introduced to this like post-apocalyptic world mm. where vampires have taken over and mm. there's only like sex of humanity. So sick. Yeah. And it's, it's a, cool a fucking world. amazing world. Mm. This The main character wakes up and he's like, wait, he finds out that he's just like food for the vampires. Mm. He has to escape and all this. And you're like, damn, this world's metal. He escapes, finds like the freedom squad, the revolutionaries, mm. the last remaining humans. And then there's a fucking high school arc. And I'm just like, you're in yeah, a post-apocalyptic yeah. world, motherfucker. You have tried really fucking hard. You have to try really fucking hard I to- I completely forgot about yeah, that. To, yeah, to like bring high school into this, yeah. but you've managed it somehow. And I, I don't know why Which, you thought this was a good idea. And it's so weird because later on, they pretty much drop that all anyway. <laughs> so I don't under- <laughs> Like that, 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 yeah, that was a show that I think that really like plagued it. Like, because yeah. it, it was, when it first came out, it was like really, um, especially the anime, like people were freaking out about it. Yeah. Cause it just dropped after Attack on Titan, had a similar kind of edginess to it and yeah, vibe yeah. we were looking for. And I think it just, yeah, the high school kind of element ruined it. Yeah, it's like, it's like <laughs> the equivalent of if like halfway through season one of Attack on Titan, they just like go back to school. Yeah, it's Attack on Titan just realized it was like, let's just fucking make these children grow up. Yeah. Like, let's just actually have like a good fucking arm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, yeah, God. it's, yeah, it's, I, you know, I would, I would like for more stories to be set outside of high school. And I think we're mm. slowly starting to see that. I don't know. Or if, at least, or at least like if it's going to be in a high school, get it to the point where, you know, we get to see them once they're out of school or something, you know, mm. like, or once they're yeah. like, you know, like mm. Beastars did a really good job of that, where like yeah. it starts off in a school, but then the second half, he's not in the school anymore. And yeah. he's like out in the real world. I, and like that, I think like balance is cool. I don't mind yeah. that. I, I, a lot of people always argue that like, it's more relatable to the, the target audience. Yes. And I'd say, what aspect of Jotaro do I relate to? <laughs> as, as him being a 17 year old kid as a, as a high school student. You right. know what I mean? Like, I feel this argument of it being more targeted is like- I But just, there's a reason why Josuke is the only Jojo that was in a high school. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right? right. Like, like I, even, even fucking uh, Joe's, uh, even Joe Tara, right? Mm, like even yeah. though he's a high school student, you never see him in the fucking right. school. Like I find that they spend a lot of shows where they have a high school protagonist often spend no time in high school anyway. Mm, yeah. So what's the point of even bringing this up? Just, yeah. and, and sometimes I, I find that kids aren't that fucking dumb. I feel like people think kids are so much more stupid than they are mm. that if it's just not the same, if they're not in the exact same situation, they can't relate or have some kind of tie to it. And it's like, yes, obviously when I was in school and Harry Potter was going on, mm. that was something I could relate to a lot more. And that yeah. was a banger, but yeah. it wasn't like, I didn't want to watch 24 and Jack Bauer go around shooting people. You know what I mean? Like I, yeah. I find it, it, that yeah. kids want those other stories anyway. So stop saying that the only reason is because they're targeting high school students. Like well, it's, it's I, I find the, that they don't, they're not that dumb. In the case with Japan, it's, it goes both ways. It's, it's the fact that yes, they're trying to target high school students who are currently in high school mm. where it's like, mm. oh, this character I like is also in high school. I mm. relate, mm. but it's also targeted towards younger adults who have just come out of high school yeah. as well. Yeah. Where, because to a lot of Japanese people, this idea of like in high school and being a student was kind of like a golden age, that's right? The, of like, that's the saddest thing. I've which is a really life. sad, but it's, but it's the truth. You know, that's like, the it's like, of my life. it's like, it's like, it's like, uh, yeah. That was from, I, I, but, my but, life got so much better when yeah. I left. I, which is, which is weird, right? Because it's this, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've talked about it before, but it's yeah, like, we, I, yeah, it's yeah. this weird like difference in between the West and Japan of like in Japan, high school is like a time where it's like, I wish I was back there. And then yeah. in the West, high school's movies and stuff like that are always mm. like, look how shit high school was. Can you relate guys? being an adult is so much better. Yeah. And it's yeah. just this like weird dichotomy. So it's like, I get that sometimes they want to do it for that purpose, mm. but I also do agree that a lot of the times they just throw it into a fucking high school because like, oh, that's an easy yeah. setting. I don't have to come up with like an original concept for a setting or a world. Right? Yeah, And then minus double points if it's in a school and then there's unnecessary lewdness all the time or <laughs> fan service, <laughs> where they're just like groping each other. And you're like, what? I mean, that's literally every I mean, edgy manga and anime. I know, I know. Yeah, I mean, most of that, most of that has been transferred over to the fantasy genre now. Yeah. I think yeah, most for sure. I, th I think high school edgy has uh, 
I don't know if it's going to realize it's run its course. Yeah, I think it's run its course. It, now it's just like let's. <laughs> you can get way more degen. It's <laughs> yeah, not. Well, you, it's not Earth. It's, yeah, it's not Earth. It's, it's uh, another let's world. Uh, you know, high, another school, high school doesn't have actually, slimes talk, running talk, around. Talk, <laughs> you can't have slaves in high school. Talk, you can talk, have that talking in world. about talking about tropes. I need to fucking die in anime. Every isekai having slaves, man. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> fucking. What? I'm an isekai there fan. A, I'm like that. That just needs to fucking. There's a I'm weird so, amount of slavery. I'm in anime. so fucking. Yeah. Yeah. done with it, man. Like, okay, I, I I get it. It's your it's your fantasy world and a lot of like medieval stories. They had slaves in them, but also it's a fantasy world. It's a it's it's what you're you're only limited by what your mind can imagine. And why does everyone imagine slavery in their world? Can we can we can we have a fantasy oh, yeah. world where everyone is equal? No, that, that would be nice. Do we, do we have a do we need to have a sit down? And, and what's going on? Like, why are we trying to bring this back? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's just, yeah, it's just every, every new isekai I swear I watch now, it's just like, oh, there's the rescuing the slave arc. Is he just going, is he going to free the slave this time? Or is he going to take the slave under his own arms? Uh, well, uh, under and then, the, oh, look, the slave I, is falling in yeah, love with the, their yeah, master again. Under the again. framing that he's a saving the oh, slave, you know? Uh, <laughs> fucking hell. I mean, I'm white, so I don't want to talk too much about slavery, <laughs> but, but a lot of the times it feels like, well, we got this character who's kind of just cool. How do we kind of make him more likable? Yeah. Let's yeah. Get him like, to free some slaves. Yeah, just give, just give him a savior complex. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, there's another tangent I want to go on. Uh, the most I. <laughs> What? The most iconic scenes involving bathrooms and toilets in movies and TV shows. <laughs> <laughs> what? The, 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 uh, the most iconic scenes oh, yeah, involving this. bathrooms and toilets in movies and TV shows. The only one I can think of is uh, in fucking train spotting when he dives I into the toilet to get the too. drugs. Oh yeah. Uh, other than that, is um, there an iconic scene? Oh, and- There's uh, something about Mary. No, no. Is, I don't think I've seen that movie. Have you not seen that movie? Uh, with the cum? Yes. He, he like jacks- Explain. He jacks off into the mirror before yeah. the date, right? Or he's jacking off before the was date. Was that something about Mary or was that something else? Something about Mary, I'm pretty sure, right? Cause and still all right. Yeah, it is. Um, it's got uh, Cameron Diaz. Yeah, yeah, it? that's something about Mary, right? Is it? Can you can you Google this? Make sure. Um, he's, okay, there's, he's, so so there's two. There scenes. is two. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's that, and mm -hmm. then there's the scene which I think like. Wait, has, hold on. Explain the first scene. All I hear. Of, oh. So I think Ben Stiller. <laughs> all, all I heard was jacks off, off into the mirror. He's having a date, yeah. and he wants to, you know, because he, he might be getting some. So right. he wants to jack off before he goes out. Okay. Just, so you know, maybe he lasts yeah. a little longer. Yeah. Yeah. And he comes, and he doesn't know where the cum went. <laughs> yeah. And then it turns out it was on, it was behind his ear. Yeah. And when oh, he, I have seen this. And then he meets yeah. Cameron Diaz at the door and she's like, oh, you have some gel, I'll take that. And she yeah. takes it for some reason and puts it and in puts her And puts it in her hair. hair. Yeah. And um, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, there's an article. There's an article, article about it. it. Is it actually possible it's, for cum to be iconic. good hair gel? <laughs> Breaking it down. Yeah. But no, no, the, the scene I was thinking of, I don't know if the, this is still, there's something about Mary. It might be something else, but yeah. uh, it's the zipper scene. Where I can't remember this one. I think I think it is Ben Stiller. He's uh he's uh pissing in the toilet. Yeah. And then he just kinda like he's just staring out the window, right? And he's mm. just kinda like like having like a thousand yard stare or whatever. And then he realizes he's staring at the window of a girl getting changed or something like that. <laughs> right. And so he starts to panic. And then he zips up and uh and uh is this forty year old virgin? No, this isn't 40 really? year old virgin. It's, uh, I, I'm pretty sure it's Ben Stiller. Um, so like basically he, he zips his oh, schlong up. You say this scene to me and I feel like it's Steve Carell in my mind. I don't know why. Like why am I picturing 40 year old virgin? Maybe there's a Steve Carell scene as <laughs> yeah, well. Maybe, maybe, maybe there's it. a Steve Carell scene. <laughs> maybe he's but, remade it. Yeah, yeah, yeah but it's- Paying yeah. homage. Yeah. yeah, but it's iconic because even just describing that every, every man in the world, yeah. basically you hear him zip up. Every man in the world winces. <laughs> he zips up. And he screams, and then, and then there's this. Oh God, it's it's a fucking iconic scene. There's a scene where he uh, he asks for help, and basically every guy who's just like, okay, let me let me help you. They they look at what they look at what has like what he's 
what he's got himself into. Yeah. And they're just like, yo, what the fuck, man? <laughs> what the fuck? And the most fucked up thing is there's a shot where they actually show what has happened. Oh there's there's a shot where the zipper is entangled with the skin and oh. it's just like for a second. And you're just, oh. and I, I, that is that is now like become a core memory. Uh. That has become a core memory in my mind. Oh, my balls just and, went whoop. And everyone, and everyone who's watched that film, um, I'm going to Google iconic bathroom scenes because now I'm, I'm the only a blank. the only other one I can think of is uh, I forgot which Austin Powers film it is. Oh no! Mm. Uh, but there's that scene where he's inside the the, the lair of uh, Doctor Evil, <laughs> yeah, and he like runs into the bathroom, and uh, and and as he's taking this like extremely long piss, the two henchmen are talking like some like secret you know talks or whatever. Yeah. But he can't hear him because the piss is so loud, so he stops <laughs> to listen, and the henchman just like. Look at him really suddenly and he just starts pissing and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> and he just does that on and off for like yeah. five minutes. That's the only other one it's I can the think of. Home Alone one where he's getting changed and then he slaps his face and goes, ah, with the aftershave. Oh, yeah. Is that one? Wait, what, what was that? In Home Alone, when yeah. he he's, it's, you know, getting ready yeah. and then he applies the aftershave to his like bare skin. Yeah. yeah. And he screams because obviously it burns. Yeah. Because he's not a man yet. Oh. Fuck, my, I, I had my my leg up and now all the blood's rushing back to my leg. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I did find the scene you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. from uh, Along Came Polly, right? Oh yeah, um, so I'm, I'm getting those two mixed up. Ben yeah. Still and Jennifer Aniston. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> ben Stiller and iconic bathroom scenes, man. What can you say? Also <laughs> there's The Shining. It's technically in a bathroom. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Johnny. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. That, is, that is that is Oh yeah, how much you see? I, I actually heard a really fun, uh, well, like I guess little fun factoid about that is that like the actress, uh, I forgot her name, but you know how she's like fucking terrified and screaming. Yeah. Yeah. That was apparently a genuine reaction because she didn't know that they were actually going to get a real axe and actually go through the door. So she's actually freaking out. Well, Kubrick scene. was a fucking madman. Yeah. You know? AKA asshole. Yeah. He, AKA dickhead. He, he yeah. wasn't ass. He made amazing fucking movies, but hearing some of hearing about some of the uh hearing about some of the stories that happened on set on in everyone in this films. He is I would hate to work for There was like, also there was also that scene in The Shining that I think apparently took 127 takes. Yeah. yeah he's he's crazy. Yeah. yeah. And they made them redo it just so they can get mentally fatigued and actually fucking just crazy. Yeah. Because of how many times he asked them to redo the take and <laughs> everything a, like what that. What an asshole. <laughs> and uh in The Clockwork Orange where they had the scene where they uh, propped up the eye. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah and he yeah, actually yeah. scratched his cornea or something like yeah. that. And so when he's screaming, "Stop! Stop!" He was actually screaming because oh yeah, like it was God. legit. Like he yeah. had scratched his cornea and he was like screaming in pain. And Kubrick's like, "Nah!" Kubrick's like, "Keep rolling! Keep rolling! <laughs> this, this is good, great! This is a good take! This is a good film!" <laughs> this, this is. This I mean, some... back back way back when movies just were starting and becoming a big thing, and a lot of money was being put put into it. Like a lot of people just died during filming yeah. stuff, yeah. like big scenes, like Colosseum scenes, or mm. yeah. like there's a Noah's Ark film where just a bunch of people died. Well, there's that yeah. famous filming one stuff. of like, uh, you know, the never ending story. Uh, no. Uh, there is like this fantasy film, the never ending story, like really famous in the US, but uh, there's this scene where like the, the kid is like pulling a horse through a swamp yeah. and the, the horse like slowly starts to like sink. Apparently that horse actually died oh, bro, in that way scene. way back in animals and movies, yeah. they did not give a fuck. That horse yeah. straight up died in that scene and they cut it right before the horse actually like drowned and oh, died. And oh I'm just God. like, what the fuck? <laughs> that is depressing. Yeah, man. it's Holy super depressing. Shit. Yeah, the only other thing I can think of is um, that scene, there was a, a Texas Chainsaw Massacre where there's a scene where- The first um, one. I, th I think it's the first one. There's mm. a scene where because the because it was so hot where they were filming and uh, the main murderer had to wear like the mask during filming oh, and Jesus. it was fucking, he was getting like heat stroke mm. and he accidentally like, there was a scene where he cuts like one of the, uh, one of the girl's finger yeah. and he actually cut the finger and she was screaming in real pain. Oh, shit. But he was so delirious that he like didn't know that he was actually cutting like a real finger. Jesus. And just, Bloody like, hell. just like the shit you can get away with <laughs> like back then. God, someone, someone's getting a lawsuit nowadays, man. Yeah. Holy Far shit. Out, dude. Just on, I'm looking at more iconic bathrooms. Yeah, scenes. iconic what's, bathroom What are some scenes? more iconic bathroom uh, scenes? Put, put iconic shitting scenes. <laughs> <laughs> 
I, I mean, there's the, I mean, again, going back to Austin Powers with the fat bastard, you know, like sitting on the toilet. He's like, but I didn't have any call. <laughs> there are so many iconic bathroom scenes <laughs> in mean, Austin Powers thinking about like that first scene when he wakes up and he's like dethawed and he spends like ages <laughs> on the urinal and he's just like. <laughs> well, that's because uh, Austin Powers is like the epitome of like pee pee poo poo jokes yeah. in film. It's like, it's, I guess that's why we love it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm actually going to chat GPT like 10 iconic pooping scenes. Yeah, well, yeah there's yeah. the one with Dumber and Dumber where they have the laxatives. He drinks laxatives, he starts shitting all oh, crazy. Oh, there's, there's also that scene in White Chicks as well where he has the cheese accidentally. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was also, um, <laughs> I love also, that scene. Um, in... God, White Chicks is a film that would not fly today. No. I'm just thinking about it. That would be a film that would be canceled so fast. Do you today. think Tropic Thunder could be made nowadays? No. no. <laughs> American Pie, Hell there's no. like so many. Like oh there's one where he's God. like shaving his pubes yeah. and then he for some reason throws the pubes out the window <laughs> and they, they get blown into like uh, and a, a, one of the wedding venues. It's something stupid. Oh my God. Every other scene in American Pie yeah, is like half. Horny. What happened to toilet humor? I remember when every other like comedy film had toilet humor in it and, and, and now we're just like, oh, we're better than that. I'm like, I don't know. Are just, we better are we, than that? I don't think oh, we are. No. I, don't, I, don't, music. I don't think we are. Because I, I still love that line in uh, in American Pie where it's like, I went to band camp and I played a trumpet with my pussy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the dumbest line, but it's stuck with me for all these years. Oh yeah, any nuts in the sunscreen. <laughs> yeah. That was gross. I love oh. those movies, man. What is the next AI generated prompt, Gant? Let me know. The weirdest food combinations people would actually enjoy. Toast sandwiches. Toast sandwiches. Toast sandwiches. Sandwich. This is kind of this, this sandwich. Sandwich. similar to the last thing, I guess. But uh, food combinations. How many more right? prompts do we have in there? Out of curiosity, we only have one more after this. Oh, actually, okay. weird uh, food combinations. Um, mayo and anything. It's pretty good. Japanese mayo. Japanese yeah. mayo. Japanese mayo. Just give me Japanese mayo, man. Keep you mayo. You could just put that with anything. And the older I get, the more I like mayo. I don't know why. <laughs> Like, what do you mean? I don't know, like the more I get Wait, older, did you never like Kewpie? As a kid, I remember hating mayonnaise. I used to think it was disgusting. It looked it looked vile as well. Well, uh, but but like I mean- UK mayo is- Yeah, I mean, looks, Western mayo is like different. Yeah. Right? Well, we have like the whitest shade of white mayo. And it's like- <coughs> Isn't it's it like a little bit more like watery jelly? as well? Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah I never liked that. Yeah, that Oof, one's gross. Not good shit. Yeah, Japanese mayo all Japanese the way. Japanese mayo is creamy. What yeah. about adding cheese to- What what does cheese not work with? Okay, let them cook. Huh? Let him cook. What are you gonna suggest? What is cheese? No, no, no. I work with because because I I, I asked this because gr growing up, mm -hmm. okay, well, I, there was a big separation for me between like let's say Western food mm -hmm. and Asian cuisine, and the yeah. concept of like adding cheese to like a lot of like Thai cuisine and like Asian cuisine, I was just like, I don't see it happening. Yeah. But then, but then I discovered Korean cuisine that does that, and I'm like, oh. Maybe this can work. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe we need to like, maybe we need to think about this a bit more. Yeah. You know, cause I- <sighs> Same with like cheese. is like a crutch for food, I think. Cause like, not, not for, at least for foods that are bad can be made more edible with cheese on them because <laughs> cheese is so good at overpowering anything else it's right, combined yeah. with. Right. And I find that normally it's, at least in, in Japan and stuff, the cheaper the food, the more chance there'll be cheese involved. Mm, yeah, uh, that's just true. Because they're like, all right, let's 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 put some cheese to mask this. It'll be like, I don't know, what, what will they have cheese with on here? I, I, a lot of the time, like Asian food, I don't really want cheese with it. Okay, how do we feel about cheese and rice? <laughs> That's a little strange. In, okay, what? Can you give me an example of food? Like just a bed of rice with some fucking cheese on top. Honestly, no, no, no. honestly, I've never it's tried pretty, it, it's, but I've, I've tried it. It's could, pretty good. It could yeah. be good. I mean, yeah, I, could I, be, I mean, mayo and rice is nice. So, that mayo and cheese are not the same thing. Yeah, Jack. I know. But what I'm saying, <laughs> I like mayo yeah, because because yeah. I I was just like cheese and rice. That would that would never work. No, it does work. It yeah, does, and then and then I there I tried it a few in a few places in Japan. I'm like, okay, this this because might. like it's like. It's like the pasta of Asia. Cheese and carbs, right? Like, you cheese know what I mean? It's just cheese carbs. and carbs. Like carbs yeah. and cheese go like hand in hand. Yeah. yeah. I don't fuck with people when they put like nacho cheese on like broccoli or something. I've had that a few times in Japan. Nacho I've ordered on broccoli. Yeah, it'd be like cheese broccoli, and then I order it, and it's like nacho cheese, like the canned nacho. Oh, they pour yeah. That's on, and I'm yeah, like, but what, the fuck? what does that go well with? You know, I would argue nothing. I will, <laughs> I will accept it with. Oh, the, really? The, I, I put mayonnaise on it. 
Uh, wait, sorry, with no, no, on, on broccoli. Uh, no, no, no. Sorry, we're talking sorry, about nacho like cheese. Nacho oh, nacho cheese. cheese. The, the, the no, fucking uh, cheese sauce. No, no, that, like, that's not food. I'm like that. That I barely goes like with it. nachos. Give me real cheese with nachos. Yeah, give me real yeah. cheese. Yeah. Is there any point where I would choose that fucking fake cheese over the no, real cheese? No. What's that? But I'm trying to think. Is there anything cheese doesn't go well with? Uh, is cheese just the hack? I was Aside gonna, from I like, was gonna say cake, but we literally have cheesecake. <laughs> yeah, we literally have cheesecake. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, is cheese just that OP? No, cheese is very OP. Cheese is I'm OP. Just, uh, I'm just like thinking. Problem uh, is that it's just fat and carbs. So when you yeah. add it to stuff, it makes it way more unhealthy. There's gotta be like some th dish or like I used food to eat item where if yeah. you put it with cheese, it becomes immediately disgusting. Yeah, here you go. <laughs> yeah, oh, fruit. Well, do, oh, do, oh no, cause you can get like bratta and oh, some fruit. Fuck, you're right. Yeah, and you get like fondue as well. Yeah. Where you dip like you dip like the, food. I think because uh, cheese is so versatile, generally like there's there's so many different flavors you can have with it. Mm. Yeah, but I think there's a there's a cheese for everything. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> Unfortunately, I think there is. I think there's a cheese for everything. Okay, this is cheese equality. This is one. This is one thing I don't get. Where I've been to like some, let's say, high class restaurants, right? Mm. Okay, and they have a cheese course which comes after the main course. And I think the French do this a yeah. lot, uh, where they have cheese as like a dessert. Yeah. Yeah. I don't get that. I, I do not well, get I, that. I get it. Cause normally you're just drinking at that point, right? So it's more of like a snacking thing and it's not like a very heavy, um, sweet like taste. It's like, you can have a little bite savoriness, but it is, it is a lot, I will admit. It's, yeah. it's, it's a, f I, I don't know how people can handle it. Cause by the time I finish the main course, I'm like, I'm, I'm fucking done. And they're like, oh, we have another cheese course. And I'm like, what? You want me to eat savory stuff after this? I'm fucking dying, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I, I, I barely get the dessert after a, a course anyway, because I'm, as you said, like, I want to be full with the main course, right? So yeah. I don't have space for anything else. But like, sometimes I've been tempted to be like, yeah, I'll take a little nibble of some cheese. Yeah, <laughs> take like a little nibble yeah, of some but, cheese. Yeah. But the problem is, is that a lot of those like cheese boards is like, it's like six or seven pieces of different cheese. So it's just yeah. like, that's just like, I was expecting maybe <laughs> two. You know, yeah, it's That's, just too much. What else shouldn't work? It's good. The sweet, I, sweet and savory can work, but mm. it's it's hard to do. It's it's hard mm. to do. I think. And okay, if, you, I'm not a fan of like red bean things being like like a kidney beans. No, no, like the red bean dessert. Red oh, bean paste like desserts. Uncle. Yeah, yeah, they have Uncle and they try and make it like, they add it to stuff and I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Like like ice cream and stuff? Yeah, ice cream. It's like- But are you a fan of the red bean paste to begin with? <sighs> Sometimes I've had it and it's pretty good, mm. but I'm rarely like super hyped right. about it. Cause I feel like it's just cause Japan just didn't have sugar for a long time. So they were like, let's just use this. <laughs> like just admit it Japan, like you didn't have sugar and this is what you'd make, this is your dessert. Yeah, but I mean, it's good. I'm convinced they have a bean surplus and they're trying to get rid of it. Oh well, yeah, of course they are. That's <laughs> why we figured out 70 million ways to use the soybean. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's true actually. They put soy with everything. Yeah. Soybeans yeah. in we've, everything. We've literally figured out every combination possible to use on a soybean. You put it in the garbage for a week. You're like, oh shit, I can't, you wait a minute. Oh, it's not so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. You can turn, we can turn uh, it into I'm, a sauce. Yeah, There's I'm, gotta be some stuff. That's so I'm, not, I'm not a fan of red bean paste either. I don't really? know. Like, I, I don't know if it, you have to like grow up with it. Do you think we like chocolate so much? because we grew up with it or is it just actually that OP? Uh, sugar, sugar, uh, sugar some, something in your brain is like, like goes sugar, happy, sugar, yes. happy from sugar. Yes. Like, yes. <laughs> but I guess it's in different forms, right? So yeah, give me, give me more sugar. But yeah. there's natural sugars. I don't know, I'm fucking talking about. But like chocolate plus like, the, like something different other than like a marshmallow or like a meat. Chocolate. I like chocolate with fruit. It's good, 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 good combo. Chocolate, chocolate with combo. fruit is good. One thing I've not- Like chocolate covers strawberries and stuff? Uh, yeah, it makes strawberries a lot better. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Chocolate what? oranges? I mean, if he can make you like oranges, that's- uh, the only yeah, way that's that how is. <laughs> the only way that orange is edible. Yeah. There's, there's actually one thing I don't like, which a lot of people do like, mm. um, salted chocolate. Never been a fan. Mm. Really? I don't know, yeah, never been a fan. Oh. Same thing with chocolate, mm. with chili chocolate as well. I don't like chili chocolate. Chicli chili chocolate, I don't I don't understand. I don't get chili chocolate. Why people do that? No. Uh, I'm Thai, I love spicy chili stuff. Yeah. Get that shit out of my desserts. Yeah, I don't, I don't like, sweets, I've man. never understood chili chocolate. Yeah. What, what are you gonna say, Connor? I like chili chocolate. <laughs> what, what do you like about it? Because what I don't like about it is the fact that it's like, I like, you know, I like some spice in my food and I like sweetness, yeah. but like spice and sweetness is, couldn't be further from the opposite mm, in yeah. terms of palates. It's like a, it's like a forbidden 
It's like that guy's what makes it kind of nice. It's a little bit forbidden. <laughs> little bit would, would you say it's a little bit mm, devious? <laughs> little bit devious. <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit devious. Bit naughty. <laughs> <laughs> Combine these two flavors. <laughs> No, it's because um, I have the same opinion about chili chocolate as whenever I see a shot and I look at like the ingredients of the shots and it has Tabasco sauce in it. And I'm like- Oh, like yeah. a Bloody Mary? And, and I'm just like, oh fuck, get get Bloody Marys away from me. I do not understand Bloody Marys at Dude, all. Dude, I, I went out last night and they ordered a Bloody Mary, the person I was with, and this, <laughs> look at this fucking thing. Let me show you, I'll, I'll try and show the camera too. You know, you know what's kind of weird? I, yeah. I've i never really liked a Bloody Mary, but for some reason, uh, so, oh my god! It came with a whole stick of celery. Like a whole stick of celery. In that's that. that's not the wildest shit I've seen. I, I, um, I just, I mean, you probably can't see this, but I mean, like, yeah, it just, dead ash just came with you a know, whole you know stick of weird? celery. Australians really like Bloody Marys, and I don't know why. It's because it's the all, drink of alcoholics. All of my, yeah, it is. Always. It's like it's how, 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 how alcoholic. It's like the smoothie for alcoholics. It's, it's, it's the hangover alcoholic drink. You know, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm detoxing. I'll have yeah, a tomato yeah. drink this time. Yeah, I, I don't get it because it's you're just eating a meal. You know, it, it, yeah. feel, it feels like a meal. And uh, the, like the wildest shit is the- uh, oh, I got one after, after I okay. The wildest shit I've seen is like the Bloody Marys in, Wis in Wisconsin, which I think is like more unhealthy than most meals. <laughs> uh, because I, I swear to God, like we went to this bar mm. and Sydney Sydney's mum, uh, Sydney's mum and Sydney loves Bloody Marys, but only from Wisconsin. And I remember I, I go into this bar yeah. and they order a Bloody Mary. And I'm used to like Bloody Marys having some weird shit in like yeah. a celery or something. Um, I swear to God, this wasn't like a cocktail. It was, <laughs> it was just, they took like a meal and they'd like processed it, put this, put it in this drink. And then out of this drink, they had a burger. <laughs> <laughs> on a stick and some wings that they that they had put in this drink and served it. I shit you not. What the fuck? It, 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 they put a burger on a stick and then stuck it in the Bloody Mary. And I'm like, this this is too far. This how has gone how, too far. How much is that Bloody Mary? Is it like 20 bucks? <laughs> yeah, I think it's about 15, 20 bucks to uh, at the bars in Wisconsin. Oh, yeah, they, they will do oh, anything yeah. they can to not eat their vegetables. Huh? <laughs> that, that, that's out. the American. They're like, oh, bur burgers and wings are the same as celery, right? Yeah. Not, not to mock Americans again, I'm sorry, but like a lot of the time they'll have something healthy or the guise of healthy and then yeah. they'll just find 10 other ways to make it unhealthy. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't like honey on pizza. I'm not a fan. Or like I, honey I do, on cheese pizza and I stuff. I don't agree. Yeah. I think it's abomination. <sighs> See, pizza. I, I didn't. I, I'm, I'm of the same opinion yeah. as uh, pineapple and pizza. Yes. Get sweet stuff off of my yeah, pizza. Yeah, I agree. Pineapple and pizza too is yeah. the ultimate does not work combo. Yeah. Stop oh, trying okay. to, to stop trying to make it work. What about pineapple in a burger? I'm still not. Uh, I'm Hawaii not can Hawaii can do all they want. I'm mm. not. I'm not budging. I'm. I'm not, I'm not sold. But it's mm. not as bad as pineapple and pizza for me. What about like sweet and sour pork that has pineapple in it? Because sweet and sour yeah. pork is pineapple, right? So yeah, but the does pork that work? And the pork should be the sweet and sour, right? I don't need yeah. I don't need a pineapple to do it. Like I don't want that. I don't want that watery bite that the pineapple gives. I know, I know they fry it sometimes. Yeah. yeah. But at, at that point, I'm like, why are we even using the pineapple? It's, Can it's, we just find something else? It's like putting oranges in my salad. You know, oh, I love. I, I, hate, love, I hate oranges and salad. I know you. I know you hate it because you hate oranges. I fucking love oranges, but just get that shit out of my salad. I, I hate, yeah. hate any fruit. In my salad, you know, like, like when apples. I, when they put apples salad? in my salad, I'm like, uh. fuck. <laughs> this is like I, that's the most one percent thing I've ever said. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but yeah, I, I, that's yeah, some combination is not fan of. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's, last AI all right, let's look at the last AI generated tangent. What is it? The most ridiculous anime hairstyles and what that says about the character. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, there's, there's a lot. The way, where do we start? I mean. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, I think every, Yu-Gi-Oh. Every, oh, every, Yu -Oh. every every character from Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, every character in Yu-Gi-Oh. Just like, Joey just like, well, just, oh, not even, not even Joey. Just like, just Yu-Gi. Like, like first of all, I feel bad for cosplayers because they first they have to figure out what the fuck is going on with Yu-Gi's hair, and second of all, I'm just imagining like. Does he style that shit every morning? Like, uh, how long must that take? I, I think it Yugi says, says commitment. Yeah. Commitment. It is and that's commitment. What we know about Yugi. Yeah. I, I, th I think Yu-Gi-Oh has ruined every card game anime character design. Because <laughs> sometimes you just look at a card game like anime character and you're like, this is a rip off Yu-Gi-Oh character. Yeah. You can always tell when an anime is about card games when they have the craziest, craziest ass fucking hair that would not exist in real life, even by anime standards, man. <laughs> Yeah. In the case of Yugo, it's not even the hair either. It's just like just character designs in general. It's all like, harsh edges, all very like pointy. <laughs> yeah, it's all, all different color. Edgy. It can't just be 
one color. It can't be one it color. It has to be like multiple colors. They have to have like streaks or some shit. Like yeah. that. It was sick though. Cause it was like the only, only thing that, cause cartoons are always rounded, soft and mm. colorful. And here was this show that was fucking crazy. And every <laughs> yeah. character had the most absurd hair. And you're just like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Because I remember even like the most normal character hairstyle wise in Yu-Gi-Oh is probably maybe like, I don't know, Pegasus, right? But even then it's like his fucking character design is so his fucking bangs. whacked out. And he's so batshit insane as a personality where it's oh, like- yeah, he, he does like, have a pretty normal he's, he's hairstyle. Pretty, it's, like, it's, just, it's just very, very long and you know, straight and white, but like, you know, uh, but he, everything else about him is just like, whoa, all right, <laughs> what <does the laughs> chill. Whole, what does the hairstyle say about the characters though? That's what I'm intri intrigued that about. That they're the main character. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> uh, the amount of times you're sitting in a classroom and you're like, I spot can, the main character. I can tell who the main character is. Let, yeah. me, let me let me, let me, me just look around and see who has the craziest ass fucking yeah. hairstyles. It's uh, just it's just a matter of like, I think so many uh, so many like series that have so many characters, especially, they're the only way you can differentiate is being like, what color have we used on the color wheel yet. Let's just make it that color. Is there any anime where the character changes their hairstyle? Uh, the craziest uh, hairstyles in anime. I'm sure there is. Uh, yeah, Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> just, shut, <laughs> shut the fuck up, Joey. Shut, actually shut Do the you know fuck how up. different standard Goku and Super Saiyan 3 Goku is? Do you, it's like a completely different character. <laughs> God, who the fuck is this? You know oh, yeah, wait, yeah, Goku literally has a lion mane. Yeah, like, that's Super Saiyan 3. Do, 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 you know, do you know what's yeah. ruined Super yeah. Saiyan 3 for me? Yeah. He has no eyebrows. And once, yeah. I, and once I noticed that, I couldn't not notice that. They oh my God, he doesn't. They replace his eyebrows with muscles. His and eyebrows just like go up into his hair. <laughs> like look Ooh. at Super Saiyan 3 Goku and they have replaced his eyebrows with muscles. And once I've noticed that, I cannot not notice that. Now. It's, probably just, Toriyama, it's probably just Toriyama being like, man, I'm spending too much time on the hair. I just forgot the eyebrows. <laughs> yeah. So some I guess the, I'm sticking with some it. Some of these characters I've never seen. There's uh, Greville de Blois from Gosick has this insane like torpedo hair. Oh yes. I I yeah, I love him. He's uh, fucking sick. And then obviously Charles Z. Britannia. That's not like a bit. That's his actual hair. That's <laughs> oh, not is like, it actually? That's not like an accessory. That's his hair. Oh Charles. my God. So uh, he's not wearing a wig like a judge. I, yeah. Like yeah. That. And uh, <laughs> I guess uh, Ken Patchy from Bleach. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And a lot of Bleach characters have some wild hair. Yeah. Uh, Ota, Ota from Ping Pong the Animation. I don't even know this character. <laughs> That's some wild hair. I forgot about that, man. Um, uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, Tendo from Rama Half as well. He's uh, got he's got crazy hair. Is Ragyo from Kill La Kill as well. She's literally just rainbows in her hair at some point. Uh, oh oh yeah. bro. I um, forgot about her. Yeah, kill every kill. character in Shiki. Uh yeah, Jojo is weird because Jojo's hair is just half hat, half hair. Yeah. Like it's like a weird that uh, his, the like hat that, is the hair. The hat doesn't do anything in his hair. <laughs> uh it's very odd. Uh, there's also obviously um, Death the Kid from- Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The yeah. Death the Kid. That's good. That tell, that actually does tell us a little bit about the character. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that he loves symmetry, except yeah. it's yeah. not symmetry. Except it's not symmetrical. It's, a, it's, it's the one thing that's not symmetrical. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I, I love it when it, whenever, whenever you want to make a character see more mature, just flatten their hair. Like get the spikes out, flatten the hair. They are an adult now. That's what you did. That's what, yeah. <laughs> That's honestly, what you did. Honestly, That's what you did. in real life as God, well. Calm down, settle down, got a wife, hair calms down. <laughs> hair comes hair down. Flat. You know, that's a, that's a trope that I, I can actually get behind. That applies to real life. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Or just have them like grow their hair out. And if they're, yeah. if, they're, if they're meant to be the good looking main character, they'll have their eyes slightly covered and it'll be like oh, yeah, down here yeah. and it's, long. There's always, the, there's always the streak here. If they're a little bit of the quirky character, give them the ahoge. Yeah. You know? If they're a happy go lucky character, they'll have like the quiff. Oh so yeah. yeah. I'm ready for anything. <laughs> I'm the character that just runs into everything. Why, why is it, we're going back to tropes now, but why is it the trope whenever you want to make an anime character look sussy, just get, just give them like the, the fucking slit eyes, man. You know, the eyes that never Sorry. open. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> well, because it makes you be like, what are you actually looking at? What are you, what are you hiding in? What, what, are you hiding? Are you, what are you hiding under those yeah, eyes? Why, what are you, why, 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 why aren't you opening those eyes, yeah. man? What's yeah. that fuck? I think you guys, thank God you guys are saying that. If I said that, <laughs> that sounds so racist. I was, I was about to say, why, why aren't these Asian people opening their eyes? What's happening with them? <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I look at Brock and I'm like, what are you hiding? <laughs> what is Rock, Rock up to? Yeah, Brock, Brock is up one to, of what Brock what is one of- What are you, the fucking TSA at immigration? Like fucking, what are you up to But then the opposite 
opposite can be said, right? Of like, when you do finally see his eyes, you're like, oh shit, <laughs> shit's about to go yeah, down, dog. Oh, shit's about- when they open their eyes, you're like, oh shit, it's, like- it's going down. <laughs> That's when they reveal their grand yeah, plan They every mean time. business when you can see their pupils. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so fucked. <laughs> that's, a, that's such a weird trope. In anime. Such a weird trope. Yeah, because yeah, I'm trying good to hairstyles. Try, yeah, I'm trying to. What's, what's to, a hairstyle that you looked at in anime and you're like, that could probably work in real life? As ridiculous as Sasuke, because I did it. Uh, that, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I could, as as weird as it is, I could imagine someone pulling off like a Death the Kid haircut. Uh, because it's like it's have. just yeah, I think they have. You know, it's just like white streaks here, right? That go around like. It's, it'll look weird as fuck, but the, it's probably the most realistic. Uh, the I don't half, think it would The half hair right. colors look pretty cool in real life, actually. Oh, people. like the, the half half? Yeah, half half yeah, looks yeah, pretty yeah, sick, yeah. actually, some people. Yeah, I've seen people do that. Um, what are, what colors do you think, what anime colors do you think work in real life? Definitely not pink. Like <laughs> the ones that happen in anime that do, just Mal- flat Mal- out- Malin's right there. Like, Malin's right there. <laughs> well, I guess it works for Malin. Just, just call out Malin. <laughs> you know what okay, you know one doesn't work ever? Blue, like light blue. Like it never, I'm like green. Green looks like ass in real life. And calling out Jack Septi going cranky, please. <laughs> yeah, good. Good. They they could take it. They're, they're, they're big boys. They know. Why do you think Jack stopped doing it? <laughs> because he got lazy. Yeah, that too. Yeah, <laughs> it's a lot of it's a lot of management. Does anyone do it aside from streamers and YouTubers? Yeah, yeah. Like, like, reach a fucking yeah, ninja. That's, that's, that's it. Ninja. <laughs> I don't even want to know how much how much dye Ninja had to use. It just God. doesn't look good in real life. Yeah. Does orange look good? Fuck no. Cause I, I'm just thinking about Ichigo and I'm like, damn, Ichigo got drip, but I'm like- Ginger what? does though, no ginger. <laughs> no, no ginger though. Okay, okay, yeah, ginger, ginger ginger looks fine, but like- fine. Wait, this way, no, no, gingers no, no. you look no, fine. No, no, ginger looks great, but like if you're Japanese, then it's a different story. Oh yeah, it does very I think ginger on... hair on a Japanese person yeah. is a little like, whoa, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I guess it does depend on so, the skin complex. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Uh, I. I'm sticking to my hair color, I think. I want to see someone pull off Gon's haircut from Hunter Hunter when he's like an adult. <laughs> <laughs> what the fucking? Yeah. I think no, there's, there's someone's done it online. Have they? Yeah, someone's done it. <laughs> I've seen someone do it. I've seen someone do it. Oh my God. <laughs> Google it. It's, you, I've seen like somebody do it. It was really fucking sick. It was like, oh, it was, like pretty accurate. Okay. Now I want to see someone pull off the Homer Simpson haircut. That's what I want to see in real life. I'm getting there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I want to see that in real life to be like, all right, it looks it looks fine on Homer, but how does it look on an actual person? <laughs> it must look fucking wild on an actual person. Oh my god! I want to like. I, I feel like one like one studio just always does character designs well, mm. including the haircuts and everything. Studio Trigger. I don't know why. Mm. Yeah. Something about Studio Trigger character designs, they always fucking stand out every single time. True. And sometimes it always mm. takes like one fucking streak of color mm. and you're like, okay, that's Riku from Kill or Kill. I know now. Yeah, like, yeah her style's great. Yeah. It does, mm. it, it does reflect her energy as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. They're really good at getting the hairstyles that reflect the characters very well. Yeah. Like if it's sorry. slick and cool, the character will be slick mm. and Literally cool. Literally everyone from like Cyberpunk Edge Runners as well. Yeah. Like mm. everyone looks so distinct. Uh, but true. just like reflect- Lucy's hair and shit in oh, Edge Lucy's Runners. Lucy's hair, man. Woo. I remember first time seeing Lucy's character design, her hair, her like yeah. everything. I'm like, damn. I was like, Trigger still got it, man. Trigger still I just, got it. I just it. played that boy scene. It's like perfection. <laughs> <laughs> so that minute detail. <laughs> Perfect. That's why he's the goat. That's why he's the goat. The goat. <laughs> I love that trend. It's so good. I fucking love that meme, man. <laughs> Oh my god. It's all right. It's all right, I guess. <laughs> I have, not, I have no tangent. idea what you're talking oh, about. Oh, we'll show you oh, later. We'll, we'll show you this meme. trend okay, of just okay. like, it's, it's this meme of just using the Pokemon certain- The Pokemon starters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> using certain React clips uh, to rate, like, you know, yeah. rate anything. Yeah. And it's the same- th- it's The, the same Charlie thing Scream over is in that one as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, the Charlie Scream's in uh, that. Yeah. Anyway, that was the final tangent we went on. Wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this AI generated episode. Um, I was when, impressed with the topics. The AI. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It, some of them- than We know ourselves. Some yeah. of them were uh, very 
on brand for trash taste. And yeah. and and it brought up a bunch of topics. I'm surprised we it took us this long to actually cover. talk about. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Very impressed. Yeah. Very impressed. We might we might do this again. Did you enjoy? Would would you, would you like to see another AI generated episode? Let would us you like know to in the see comments. Trash taste being slowly overtaken by our AI overlords. Let us know in the Could comments. Could you even know this was AI generated? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. This just felt like a normal trash taste episode for me. But uh, <laughs> hey, look at these patrons. That's so beautiful. They're not AI generated. Hopefully. hopefully. Hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> we didn't generate them ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> this trash taste is fully funded by ourselves. <laughs> but uh, hey, if you like to support the show, make sure to go over to our Patreon, patreon.com slash trash taste. Also mm. follow us on Twitter, send us some memes on the subreddit. And if you hate our face, listen to us on Spotify. But yeah, and, guys. Uh, yeah, that's been this episode of Trash Taste. We'll see you wait, all. Wait, no. Okay. Oh, do you want to do a trash I taste? AI generated AI outro. AI generated I want outro. A, I, I want a gener AI generated outro. Go we on, have man. the official outro. That go on, too. man. All right, let me log in real quick again. Again, like just just to quickly touch upon it, absolutely terrifying how well AI generated shit is getting. Um, yeah, I mean, we made this because of the last episode where we talked about AI. Yeah, and we're like let's let's let's, let's give it let's a give go. it yeah give it a test and give it a go. Uh, it's very it's, scarily it's, accurate. It's worked out pretty fucking well. Yeah. <laughs> very good, very good topics AI. Thank you. All right, give us the outro, Connor. Well, folks. That's all for this episode of our podcast. Thanks for tuning in, and we hope you didn't find it too painful. <laughs> we'll be back next week with more unfunny content for your enjoyment. Until then, stay safe and keep laughing or not. Keep laughing or not. That's our new tagline. Bro, that's actually a fucking insane outro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, homie. Right. That's been right. trash day. See all you guys. Bye. Bye.